wow, wow, wow. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How the heck are you guys doing? I can't tell what's reality to toxic anymore. Welcome Sluts. After watching that weird ass movie this morning. <laughs> My alert's louder than usual. I feel like you're louder than usual. I feel like I feel like that was louder than normal. What the heck? What the heck? And Chad is afraid. <laughs> God damn. I was like, that that movie was weird as heck. Background music doko. Good question. You feel like I'm a quarter <laughs> quieter than usual. <clears throat> I'm probably not yelling as much yet. I'm probably- I can't- I can't yell, it's too early for that. The movie was a mind fuck. I think it was an interesting descent into the mind of a schizophrenic. And I- I think it's more schizophrenia than any other mental illness because of the amount of, like, hallucinations and delusions and voices that he heard throughout the entirety of the movie. Her voice is still tired, true. Yeah, so I think- I think it was, like, all about schizophrenia, and like the only thing I'm willing to believe is real in that movie is like something happened with the bathtub when he was a child. And like ever since then, like maybe when he was a child, he had some sort of delusion that revolved around the bathtub. Tell them what movie? Okay, let me let me bring up like a trailer. Uh uh, trailer. Trailer. It's like a two minute trailer. <laughs> I just turned on my BGM and we're already turning it off. Will I remember to turn it back on? Who fucking knows? Alright. Okay. I'll try to- I'll try spicy to employ the- the, the, the Pippa method of multi-pausing. Ah! I just dropped a water bottle. Kobe! Kubi, thank you for the raid, dude. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, raiders. We're gonna be very slowly watching a trailer. Is that Fat Phoenix? Uh, I wouldn't call him fat. I would call him normal weighted Phoenix. Oh, like he's uh, he's not fat. He's just, he's got the he's got the gibbly gooblu because he's old. For what your daddy passed down to you. So I'm just I'm like spoilers, dude, because we watched this last night. Uh, the movie begins like uh, look who's talking with a with a birth scene. So the first scene is him getting born, uh, and then the doctor drops him and he hits his head as a baby. And I'm pretty sure the whole premise. Well, obviously that is real too because he was he wasn't alive yet. And the whole premise is, uh, in my opinion. That that hitting him, like him hitting his head when he's born, uh, is what gave him the schizophrenia, right? Like, something after he hit his head, it, like, didn't develop well enough in his brain, and he developed the schizophrenia. But I wanted a child. The greatest gift of my life. And I don't think a single time we see his mother, we actually see his mother, beyond Did when she was giving birth. Long? I'm I'm very very certain, especially by the patterns of speech and the way that most of the conversations end with someone saying "I'm sorry," even if it doesn't make any sense, is that all of these people in his mind are manifestations that his schizophrenia has created, and he is imprinting onto them how he thinks they would feel about him, because he has an inordinate amount. Of guilt. Also, good question. Chat Doko. Chat Doko. Did my Oh, I I just turned it off because I have brain damage? I don't know how that happened. I'm visiting my mother tomorrow. Hi Carrot, it's mom. I, I like how she calls him Carrot. It's very cute. It's a very it's a very cute nick it's a weird nickname, but it's a cute nickname. And I, I, like, since everything in this movie is a schizo conversation, I'm wondering if, like, that was even his real nickname, DMCA song. I hate them so much, dude. I'm, I'm pausing. <laughs> I'm pausing. F Phoenix DS, thank you for the 10 Canadians, the Ketchup Support Fund. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. The mom is not dead. Jeeves fought a penis monster. Where the fuck are we? Thanks for the movie, Ish. 
Yeah, well, you're welcome. It was it was a good it was a good ass time. It was a long movie, but I was so just entranced by whatever the fuck was happening that it didn't feel like it was a long movie. I'm just calling to say that I'm so 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 excited to see you. And this is a common trend as well. Like literally everyone in the movie is just devouring pills. And and it's like maybe maybe his schizophrenic delusions that seem like they're reality all just eat pills because at one point in his life maybe he was in a mental ward and that's all he saw right it was just people eating pills constantly like at one point he's with like a family and he has an ankle monitor on and even their daughter is just like gulping down copious amounts of pills joined late what movie it's called uh Bo is afraid also paint tomorrow you're my angel and I as like a little little flea market thing and this this is sort of where reality and his schizophrenic delusions start blurring together right because like at this at this point you're watching the movie just assuming it's a movie and so this just looks like a normal well i assuming it's a normal movie and so you're just looking at like a normal flea market but i'd be i'd be willing to bet like I don't know, probably the guys selling stuff are real, but the majority of the people standing around are not. Like, this gun guy, like, why the fuck would he be here? This man double fisting ice creams, that doesn't... That, that seems a little Isn't out of place, you know? to a cartoon fox that you don't even know that well? And, and you can start telling uh, by the signage. Like, I can't... I can't... I didn't see if they showed her full sign. But you can start telling by the signage uh, when things start going really fucking off the rails. I will cut my own hand. Yeah, okay, so she's not real either. She's- sh That woman is not real! <laughs> the gun guy might tell us the movie set in Chicago. I love you. I like those sparks around the elevator. I'm pretty sure that is him, once again, having hallucinations because He's afraid, and he projects that fear in the hallucinations around him that he has. Okay. I love you. Okay, bye, sweetie. I love oh, you. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. The best of Hawaii and Ireland. I don't think that's real either, chat. <laughs> I don't think that's real either. Who would have Hawaiian-Irish fusion cuisine? Oh, Ireland! <laughs> the spicy cat got more spicy! What do you mean? It's just a psyop! <laughs> okay, bye, sweetie. Bye, bye mom. mom! I guess let's let's see here. Yeah, recent recent calls we got landlady, therapist, mom, family, first pharmacy, mom, movie phone? The fu isn't that a real company? A therapist again. So like, he, do he doesn't really fucking call anybody. <laughs> We're all just hallucinations of the giant Korsha in the cosmos. Are you at the airport? I'm on my way. I just... And I think, I think that phone call, right, is like because of his schizophrenia, it's like he has an excuse for everything, but it's not like he can help it, right? Like, you, you can't just say, okay, voices, today don't bother me. Today is an important day. So in, throughout his life, he's probably been used to having these delusions and it causing issues for people and him feeling like he constantly disappoints them, like he's a burden, like he needs to always apologize for things, like everything bad is always his fault. Pulls out a stress card on the voices. Yeah, and like you... You can tell once he starts explaining to his mom what happened, which, like, he's trying to go to the airport to visit his mom. And as he's leaving for the airport, he realizes he forgot something. So, like, he leaves his suitcase in the hallway. He leaves his keys in the door. He goes back in the apartment. He goes back out. The keys are missing. The suitcase is missing. A guy in the hallway is like, you're fucking done, guy. You know, it's like... It's a, it's, it's a little weird. So, like, he calls his mom. And his mom's all excited. She's like, oh, when are you going to be here? It's so late, honey. You know, your flight's in an hour. 
And he's like, well, I, I woke up a little late. He didn't really wake up late. Like, his, his alarm was going off for, like, maybe a minute, right? Like, it wasn't, it wasn't too crazy. But then he explains what happened with the door in the hallway. And his mom's entire tone on the phone changes. And, like, you could, you could tell it's, like, some giga disappointment. And, like, every, everyone in chat was just like, oh, his mom's a bitch. She's emotionally manipulative. But it's like... That's not his mom. That's not real. That's in his head. And because it's in his head, and because we know he's having schizophrenic delusions, I think it's more likely that instead of her actually acting that way, that he feels his mother hates him and he's been nothing but a burden because of his schizophrenia and the issues that it causes. I don't even think he lives in an apartment on his own. Because if you have delusions to this degree... Typically, you're not going to be allowed to live on your own. And the ankle monitor later on, I think, is more proof of that. Because where where is he going to be getting that, that ankle monitor from? And why is he attributing the people who hold the monitoring device for the ankle monitor as a family? Right? If it was If it was going to be that he was wearing it as, like, a ward of the state... It wouldn't have been depicted as like a kind family trying to help him who was monitoring him. It's not safe, is it? What do you think I should do? I'm sure you'll do the right thing, sweetheart. He's got he's got to dodge all of his delusions. This is uh he took his meds. His uh his therapist was like, "You must take your meds with water every time. Don't take your meds without water." And like he forgot to take them with water. So he starts, like, having a fucking panic where he's like, my faucets won't work. The bathroom faucet won't work. I got no water in the house. He goes to, like, WebMD to look at the side effects of what happens if he takes it without water. And so now he's, like, got to dodge all of his delusions outside to go to go and get water. The meds made it worse. If you, if you have, like, this kind of deep-seated self-loathing where you are just terrified of everything and becoming a problem for someone. Yeah. Yeah, any, any little thing you read is, is going to just, like, inflame that anxious feeling. Why don't you take a seat on the cuck chair? What the fuck? Yeah, don't drink from the toilet, you fucking weirdo. Reminder, he lives in Wasserson. Wasser is German for water. It is. I thought that was his last name as well. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that was also his last name, which... I don't know if that's really the name of the town that he lives in or if that's really his last name. Because again, since Wasser is German for water and he has to constantly remember to take his pills with water, in his delusions he might be trying to imprint on himself different ways to remember to continuously drink water. Last name is Wasserman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasserman and Wasserton. <laughs> so it's like, I think... I think n having all of these naming things it was a way for him to try and remember to drink water. Lots, yeah, there's lots of water involved in the movie, which goes back to him feeling, like, the bathtub thing that he keeps having a dream about. Something happened there. What happened? We don't know. We don't know. That could have been the potential, like, when the first split in his personality happened. Because they have they have a scene towards the end of the movie where like the camera nods up and down and the camera gets out of the tub and the mother talks to the the camera in the tub as if it's a separate person. And then he even talks about the tub boy as a separate person. And he says he can see like his mother taking this other boy and putting him in the attic and whatnot. And it's like, we don't talk about him. We don't, we don't do anything with him. And I think that might be potentially him talking about the first time that he had some sort of schizophrenic delusion, right? So, like, if if his schizophrenia manifested at one point and he was, like, terrified of something he saw in the bathtub and didn't want to get in, right? I can I can see in his mind that maybe his mother tried taking the delusions he was having and being like, we don't talk about this part of you. This part of you isn't real, we don't want to acknowledge this part of you. So he tried, I guess, to sort of get rid of that part of himself. His mom could very well be dead. Yeah, bo both of his parents very well could be dead. 
both of his parents very well could be alive and he is in their house with like that monitor thing in case he gets out. Same thing that happens in bathtubs. Keffel's Catboy Ranch Hormones. Oh my god. I feel like this would be very much a different movie if he was in a bathtub full of Catboy Ranch Hormones. <laughs> And like this this part was really weird because he get he gets like hit by a car and that's how the nice family picks him up. And then like after he was hit by a car, they tell him that he was like stabbed a whole bunch of times and he does retain these injuries on his face for the majority if not the rest of the movie. And so like maybe there was an accident in his past that he keeps looping a delusion of. What ranch? Catboy Ranch. It was, uh, it was Keffel's, like, minor grooming discord. Welcome back. I hit you with my car. What? I know. <laughs> what? What is this? That's my little assistant health monitor. Mm, I just, uh, just a little assistant health monitor. No big deal. No big deal. Oh, yeah, Keffel's the fart porn thing. Uh, that's one way to put it. The birthday man stab man struck again! I'm going to put the audience reviews and stream suggestions. It's split right in the middle with 1 out of 5 and 5 out of 5 on A24. I mean, like... I'm, the, the, the director apparently said that, like... It's, it's pretty on the nose, right? He's like, I didn't, I didn't put anything that's too hard to figure out in the movie. So, why is every bread tuber an actual pedophile? <laughs> Well water in Russia is voda, distilled grain liquors, vodka. Vodka comes from Poland, and there vodka is all clear, white alcoholic drinks. That's very random. Really makes you think. <laughs> the, the little girl freaking out at him, like, the whole time. I, I don't know what that would be a manifestation of. I mean, maybe him, like, freaking people out at school. Maybe. Potentially. I'm not really sure. But she ends up, like, drinking paint and killing herself, and he gets blamed for it. This man was drinking vodka, not water, the whole time? Wait. Why would you think that? Did I, did I miss them, like, saying Voda, and that's why that guy said that? Have you- have I seen the movie Memento? I love Memento. Memento's probably one of my- I have that shit on DVD. <laughs> Maybe a manifestation of other children's first reactions to him having an episode? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, possibly. He was the one drinking paint the whole movie? No way. If it's too hard to figure out, where does the vodka come from? I, I don't know. I, it's like, uh, maybe, maybe that guy, maybe that guy was having a schizophrenic delusion because I was like, I don't know where the vodka comes from. I can't click on people and see their previous chats like I can in Twitch. I'm like scrolling up a little. I don't see any other chats from him specifically. Memento is pretty great. The paint was the friends we found along the way. Voda, but we're speaking German. <gasps> Maybe we're having a schizophrenic delusion? Fucking maybe, dude. A vodka is still 60% water? I was like, I mean, I guess vodka is still 60% water, but it would it would be a grasp to say that he's drinking vodka instead of drinking water. Because, like, there's there's been no indication that he drinks anything besides water. There's, like, there's been no nothing in the delusions that would tell us that he's drinking something that's that's not water. What year is the movie set in? Eastern Germany was a thing. It's like it's modern day. It's not. It's not in the past. <laughs> Chat convo unrelated to stream. Okay. The vo the vodka has nothing to do with the movie. <laughs> you will from now on at people in chat so the fox doesn't read it. Well, it's like you know, I, I I if you're having an unrelated conversation in chat, I'm not gonna be able to parse that. I'm dual wielding chats. Remember. <laughs> Feeling sad about going home, Bo. Plus this is a, this is like some army veteran friend of like the family's son that died in 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 the Vietnamese War, I think they said. And uh, he is just terrifying the whole fucking time. And I'm imagining, I'm imagining 
both this guy and the girl in the family are probably uh, hallucinations of the people that he saw while in a mental mental institution. It was Venezuela, Caracas, you think? Venezuela! Okay, well, I got a V, right? That's what you do when you visit people's houses. What the fuck? What the fuck? At this point, we need three chats. What do you mean by that? I feel totally unreal. I'm supposed to be leaving. I don't know if that's gonna happen. This April. You will walk. This part? When he was when he was like deep in the fucking delusions during the plays, the animation was really fucking cool. Really fu like I thought this part in like the woods and during the play when like stuff was getting really distorted and heavily animated instead of being real, I thought it was really fucking cool. I this was a really enjoyable part of the movie, even if it was like what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Is this Bo is Afraid? It is Bo is Afraid. We watched it last night. We we watched it last night and it was it was a fucking trip, dude. Many miles. Dozens will become hundreds. And I'm I'm wondering I'm wondering if we if we just go back ever so slightly. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute it for a second so it doesn't replay that music. I hate trailers. <laughs> I'm wondering. If in his mind, when certain places are becoming more distorted and more unrealistic, I I'm wondering if this is, like, how things are perceived when he's off of his meds, right? Like, the meds aren't going to cure his schizophrenia, but it still helps him stay rooted in reality. And so his delusions, even while he's on his meds, are more rooted in reality. But when he's off of them... Every- everything gets even fucking weirder. I think the play was him self-reflecting and realizing how he spent his whole life alone and has no family beyond his mother. It was a tragic what could have been. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, especially- especially with the three- the three sons and they're just like, Well, if you're still a virgin, how did you have us then? How did that happen? And then he starts having the- the sexual encounter delusion kind of thing. Where she just- she just fucking dies. <laughs> Hundreds. Hundreds will become thousands. Your adventures will continue for years and years. I just need to get home. This mask was fucking terrifying, though. I'm gonna be honest with you. And I'm wondering if he paints this sort of, like, scary clownish mask on other people because he knows that he has to try and mask who he is in public. And so he projects that mask onto everyone else. And I think correctly so as well. Every Everyone also wears a mask to kind of pretend the problems that they have don't exist when they're trying to interact in public. Except for those with underdeveloped amygdalas, of course. Their, their 39 IQ allows them to unabashedly and without shame practice their issues in public <laughs> everyone is playing nice in public almost everyone <laughs> they know dude i know oh my god <laughs> and then that like that like emaciated emaciated version of him in the attic that's been like completely completely abandoned and left alone and then the penis monster the penis monster that was so fucking weird the 39 iq thing is such an odd meme you hope it sticks around for a while i don't think it's that odd considering where it came from but i do hope it sticks around did i hand you more of my elon dust i don't think so but, like, even though I've spoilered a fuck ton of shit, this movie is still a wild ride. And I would absolutely recommend watching it. Like, it is- it is- it is insane. Why did you lie to me? Well, I- I- I get the why did you lie to me, dude. I fucking- I feel that. There were, like, three or four penises in this movie? Yeah, there was a- there was a handful of penis imagery. There was a handful of penis imagery. It's just, it's just like, you know, I don't I don't have schizophrenic delusions, but I, I grew up having issues with people touching my stuff. 
from my mom like stealing money and food from me to like my grandma taking things out of my room and giving it to my younger cousins and when I would ask her hey where's my blank she would say I don't know maybe you misplaced it you should look harder and so I would like freak the fuck out and tear my room apart being like what have I done with this thing I really liked this thing and now I can't find it and I'm uh, I'm so fucking stupid because I misplaced it and now I don't know if I'll ever find it did I leave it outside did I leave it at a friend's house and then like weeks or months later I'll see like a little cousin with it and I'm just like how did that happen how do you have my thing? And now I can't ask for it back because they're younger than me and they think it's theirs now. So now I just have to deal with not having it anymore. And so like, I, I, went, I went through periods of just like, I don't even know what the fuck reality is anymore when I was younger. Between like what my grandmother would do and my mom's lies. Like it was, it was really fucking hard. And so like in my, in my old age, I, I have like this visceral reaction to people lying. Like... I do not care how long you've been in my life or what you've done for me. If you lie to me, you are fucking gone. Which is why, like, I know everybody finds the, like, gaslighting, the streamer humor, haha -ha funny. And it's haha -ha funny to the majority of normal people. I do not find it haha -ha funny. I do not enjoy any of the gaslighting humor that chat participates in. It, it makes me very unhappy and also needs to take my meds sometimes. Aslope, they give you the five dollars. You should do an Ari Aster marathon. He hasn't had a bad movie. Is that the director of this? I don't remember director names except for M. Night Shyamalamalams. Do you want the truth now? We never, we never did get any sort of truth. The movie, the movie ended on a like, you figured the fuck out. <laughs> That Ari Aster did this movie, Hereditary and Midsommar. I don't think I've seen either of those movies. Did I ever confront my grandma? Did she ever apologize? No. No, I did not. Same with my mom, because it's like, it'd be pointless, you know? No one adheres to radical honesty. Everyone lies in some capacity, not saying it's okay, just that humans are human. I mean, like, if, if somebody's planning a surprise party for me, right? I hate surprises, so I don't know why you would do this, but... If somebody was, and they were just like, oh no, you know, like, uh, uh, it's just, I wanted to know, uh, what your favorite color was, just for no reason at all. Like, that, that's not a harmful lie, right? Like, they're still, they're still doing it for a good reason. And I'd be like, well, that was weird, but, like, I understand why you did it, because I have a fully functioning, uh, human brain. So I'm not gonna be pissed at you. Right, I'm not, I'm not talking about that shit. And, and I think, I think it's weird... I think it's weird that when I'm just like, if you lie to me, I, I will fucking hate you. And it's like, somebody's just like, well, sometimes there are okay lies. So I was like, huh. I've seen Midsommar much more cohabitant, but that was a blast of horror movie. Makes you afraid of a field of flowers. Did I ever go down the Silent Hill Wikipedia foreskin rabbit hole? No. Get a load of this fox woman saying she has a human brain. I know. Do you want the truth? Bo seemingly dies. Maybe that was the truth. This is this is all in his head. These are all delusions. So he didn't die. Like, not in the physical sense. But that's more like being swallowed by his delusions. Like, every, every time he tries to have, like, a normal, honest interaction with oh, someone, nice he can't field off his delusions entirely. He can't field off the weight of the guilt that he feels for the burden that he must be on other people. So it just keeps swallowing him over and over and keeps him trapped in this cycle. Which is, I guess, also part of the point of the play where it starts looping from what was in the past to what's currently happening to him as the narrator. Your parents would make it a point to never go through your things ever. It instilled in you a visceral displeasure when handling other people's things. Some women in your past have made fun of you because it's just a bag. It doesn't make you less masculine to hold it for me. I'm entirely missing why I don't want to handle their things. I don't understand. I don't I don't understand. I mean like if if my if my parents had made it a point to like never go through my stuff, I feel like I wouldn't have the hang ups that I do about that thing. Ghost X, thank you for the five dollars. You feel me on that as well? The worst one for you is lying by omission when you catch them on that lie. They make you think you're in the wrong. Yeah. 
the lying by omission so then they can then gaslight you to be like, no, you're crazy. You're crazy. Your mom kicked your ass when you went through her purse as a kid. Now you don't touch them. <sighs> Want to tell her straight. Want her to tell me straight. You detest the hidden convoluted messaging. A lot of, a lot of dudes will say they detest the hidden convoluted messaging. And I'm not saying you're saying this. But in my experience, it's been when you don't have any hidden convoluted messaging like dirty dog, and you are you talking are. bluntly and to <laughs> the point, it makes most people you talk to fearful that you're not being honest because they're so used to having to navigate through the subtext that when you talk without it, it becomes more concerning. It's like, is this actually happening? My experience is also with blank, yeah, room temp IQ, to be fair, but. <laughs> Those dudes are just retarded. Honestly, and direct communication is goaded. That's not, that's what I would, that's what I would think. <laughs> that's why you appreciate Kirsha. She says what she means. You can tell when I'm trying my best to not have my meaning lost because it takes me like, like in 20 minutes to get through a single fucking point. It sounds like those takes. A woman being nice to me. Clearly, she must be a witch who's manipulating me. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. And it's like, I have to I have to have some sort of filter while I'm on stream for, like, personal identity reasons or not getting banned reasons. But I still try my best to come across as brain damaged as I really am. <laughs> Calliope being the others out of dying in the tutorial was nice. What? People assume that there must be a hidden meeting that they're just not getting, which is worse than a hidden meeting that you do get. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And it's it's very hard. And I I have some crazy patience, but if somebody if somebody is so used to reading subtext and they cannot believe what you are saying without the subtext and with with copious amounts of reassurance, they are still like just absolutely paranoid and terrified over it. You're not, you're not going to be able to break through to somebody like that. They're all witches of varying skill and alignment. What the heck? What the heck? Part of why you recommend guys to learn to use emojis since some people need them to understand meaning in text. I have been told before that like when I just type without any emotes, I come across as angry. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just, I'm just using correct punctuation. <laughs> Deadpan Sanchez, thank you for the two dollars. Oh, we do an acid and I will the Kersh. Well, it's a good thing I don't know what a Kersh is, so I mean, like, you could probably do that. Thank you for the two dollars. DRT is king, thank you for the five. As an artist, you've developed a very legalistic way of speech, but you're a very functioning artist, so you don't get any hidden messages. Yeah? I was like, I like things to be blunt, and artists like things to be blunt. So, typically, when I talk to artists, it goes very well. The only, the only thing in autism that does not go very well is if you have the, the part of autism that requires you to be absolutely stubborn and as soon as you think one thing about something, your brain will never let you change that perspective regardless of how much information you're given. That's like, that's like the only time it gets like a struggle to talk to someone with autism. Zoomers thinking correct grammar and punctuation means anger is unironically a plague on society. That's the neat part. It's not even Zoomers. It's like people my age as well who just aren't used to people talking to them in like normal full English. Blunt but my Oshi. It's all coming together now. <laughs> I'm for creatine. Thank you for the $20 doodles. You learn to value direct communication because your little brother is non-verbal autistic and trying to decipher what's setting him off when he's mad is downright impossible. Like, is he sick or is it the OCD flaring up? That would be very difficult to deal with. I'm glad you have giga patience, dude. Improv, man. Thank you for the two dollars. You have trust issues, so you get that story. Yeah, and like, as someone with anxiety, if someone has like the trust issues or like, you know, the, the issues with themselves that makes them not believe my bluntness, and they need reassurance, I am more than happy to give that reassurance. Because as someone with anxiety, I understand how important that reassurance can be to moving past those issues. But if I spend like months and months and months of reassuring you, and there's no change in your behavior, there's nothing that I can do to help you. And you need to get help from someone who's not me 
to work through those issues yourself so that you can then hopefully in the future believe the goddamn words that are coming out of my mouth. Talora, thank you for the five euro. Person who was your closest friend of the past 15 years lied to you about literally everything. Your life was a Truman show, sucked hard. I I had that I had that betrayal of a best friend in high school. And uh basically, basically Due to my mother and the thing with my best friend, I was just like, well, men, if they're not romantically interested in me, seem like the most trustworthy things on the planet. Because men who are romantically interested in me will just lie about everything. Women will lie about everything in order to use me to get better status. So I might as well just forget becoming friends with women, be very careful about who I date, and then just make friends with men. Because male friends who don't want to fuck you will be the most loyal. Goob, thank you for the two. Ah, Kersha is Canadian Korsha. What the heck? A little Canadian Korsha. See, <laughs> Thomas Peasant, thank you for the five dollars. A thing that drives you nuts is when you say something, but others will completely miss what you're saying and then nitpick all you say, but not hearing what's said. I find that that happens sometimes, and when there's a misunderstanding, it's typically because you and the person you're trying to communicate to have different ways of interpreting things. And so just because they interpreted something incorrectly doesn't necessarily mean that, like, they are 100% the idiot. It's not that you did anything wrong. You were communicating in the way that you felt was most effective, but something got lost in translation when communicating to somebody else who doesn't jive with your communication style. So trying to figure out a different way to word your meaning so that that person can understand what you meant would go like miles further than, than just being like, you missed my point, you're an idiot. Not, I'm not saying you call people idiots, right? But it's like, typically, typically I feel the same way. Like when somebody misses my point, I have that immediate flair of like, what the fuck? I, I, t I typed this perfectly. Like, I conveyed my entire meaning. What the fuck do you mean? What are you talking about? Like, I have that moment of, like, split second, I'm upset you didn't understand what I meant. And then I can, before I type anything or respond back verbally, I can, I can have that, like, moment of, oh, well, they interpreted it wrong for a reason, so I should try rewording it, and maybe that'll help them understand. Perix, thank you for the two euro. Kirsha is the artist whisperer. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't get it. I just explained it clearly. I don't know how to explain it even better. <laughs> and I, I get that sometimes too, where like somebody doesn't understand what I meant and they're talking about it in like a, a different way than what I intended. And I'm just like, I don't know how to explain this any better. And when I, when I say that, it's more like I'm trying to think of a way to convey this to you in a way that you'll understand it, but I just don't know how to do that quickly. Please bear with me. <laughs> Get some bad news. You're going to misunderstand a lot of shit. It's okay. You're a dumbass sometimes. Yeah. I mean, some, some communication issues are going to be because somebody is manipulative and purposefully wants to misconstrue what you've said. Some of it's going to be the person is 39 IQ and they literally cannot comprehend what you're trying to say. The majority of the time, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be people that just have a different way of communicating. Love how you understand Pippa. I fucking love that Benoit dude. <laughs> Manya. Especially you're fine doing it in the beginning, but if it continues and you see no change, you can't bring yourself to continue helping. Yeah, and it's just like, it, it just definitely depends on, on certain things. Like, I, I would need to see, like, after, after months and months of trying to help someone work through an issue they have, I would like to see even just the smallest amount of progress. I don't expect you to be fixed from a deep-rooted issue in, like, six months or a year, right? But I expect, like, even a smidgen showing that, like, Something is breaking through that shell, you know? Would the opposite approach work if you came up and said you found me attractive and would like to try to form a sexual relationship and possibly a romantic one work? I mean, yeah. I I feel like you would word it a little bit differently because if I'm just, like, hanging out at, like, a Dunkin' Donuts and I'm sipping a, a fucking ice latte in a blizzard, 
And someone just comes up and they're like, hello, ma'am. I couldn't help but notice your ears are very fuzzy today and I would like to touch them. Would I found you attractive. Would you like to try and form a sexual relationship with me? I would look at them like, why are you talking like that? You're weird, but I'm interested in why you're weird. Please do not flay my skin. Take a seat and we can talk over the hot chocolate. <laughs> Fed posting in real life. Yeah, like somebody doing that, I'd be like, I'm very incredulous, but I want to know why you are the way you are. My curiosity will be the death of me one day, chat. <laughs> I ask this respectfully. How do you even keep finding such emotionally retarded dudes? It's statistically improbable. It's not only statistically improbable, but it's not like I've been fishing in the same pond, right? I've... I have moved across the country and I have had the, like nearly the same experience. The only difference is that the gay people in New England are honest about being gay and down south for some reason the men down here are just like, well I fuck things with penises but that still makes me straight. And I'm just like, what the fuck is in the water down here dude? What is wrong with you? I don't know dude, it's gotta be like a magnet or something. It's gotta be like a magnet or something. I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to just pick better, but that is, again, the only advice I can give myself. <laughs> They're on the down low. I find you very attractive in an utmost weird degree. Can we enter negotiation about our future sexual relationship? When I was a teenager, uh, and I would still go to the skating rink all the time, I had a guy unironically come up to me, and like, I didn't, I didn't really, like, perceive autism as a thing when I was younger, right? Like, I had too much going on in my growing up life to, like, concern myself with other things that might exist. <laughs> but I had a guy come up to me at the skating rink and he was just like, You have the kind of genes that I would like to see in my children. Would you like to go on a date with me? And I'm just like, what? 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 <laughs> I was like, maybe, maybe if I was older, I would have been curious enough to be like, okay, well, sit down. What the fuck do you mean by that? But as, as, like, as like a 16, 17 year old, I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Strengthen the bloodline. That was her himbo and she missed him. God, I hope not, dude. He wants the perfect IVs. You're glad you're not attracted to the fox suit? It seems like an indicator for being gay. Being attracted to me isn't an indicator for being gay. It's, it's if I'm physically attracted to you, that's an indicator you're gay. <laughs> I don't remember the fact you had a wrangler until middle school. Most people would probably think you're just a weirdo. Oh my god. Hashtag missed connections. Let us create the ubermensch together. Dude, missed connections on Craigslist was one area I would never go to. Like, some of the missed connections could be funny, but it gave me, like, existential dread reading missed connections, right? It wasn't- it wasn't anywhere near as funny as reading the actual, like, I want to hook up pages, because those- Those people were fucking unhinged, alright? Okay? But reading the missed connections, I would be filled with, like, existential dread of, like, what- What if I missed someone? What if I saw someone and I had a chance to talk to them and I didn't and that could have altered the trajectory of my entire life. And then I and then I start going through every single person I saw that day and what might have happened if I spoke to them. And then it's like, wait, what if somebody saw me and then and then wanted to talk to me, but then they didn't because they were scared. How would I alter the trajectory of their life? She's schizoing. Yeah, so uh so I, I would try to stay away from the misconnections. It would, it would, it would hurt my brain too much. <laughs> what if you put the butter on the cat? How would your life be different? Literally every decision you make alters the trajectory. It's actually not a big, don't say that to me. Don't, don't say that. I prefer to not think, I like, I know that's true, but I prefer to not think about that because my anxiety will cause me to have even more decision paralysis than I already have. That's why, like, especially having to make decisions for myself for my entire life based on how I grew up, it makes me feel so much better when someone makes those decisions for me. Like, holy shit. Holy f- 
fuck, it makes me feel so good. Even if it's, like, a small, like, doesn't even, like, picking the game that I play. Or, or like, when, when Nim is just like, oh, we can fix this in one of two ways. It's like, I don't care, pick one. Do not, do not even tell me the options, just pick one. <laughs> just do it. The reason you found out about Pippa or even me, was because this one friend you met from another friend of another friend. Then all started with buying Bakugan in 2008. God damn. God damn. But what if you had breakfast today? I mean, there's so many different types of breakfast that I could have had. <laughs> Rodrigo, thank you for the member. I mean, gay guys might just see me as the masculine counterpart to their femininity. I mean, fucking maybe. But I'm tired of being the man in all of my relationships. <laughs> see, Thomas Peasant, thank you for the $2. We can be friends. We all get a touch of the tism. Truly. Truly. Radstorm, thank you for the $10. You and your mother often come to the same conclusions, but when we try to explain our thought processes to each other, neither of us get it until we see the end product. Yeah, it can be very difficult if someone is just, like, literally incapable of understanding the way you try to communicate. Phoenix DS, thank you for the 20 Canadians. Communicating with people is like dial-up internet. Not everyone connects. True. True and real. Danny D, thank you for the 4.99. Tism to normie communication is a special level of hell. It really is. It really is. You feel like a ton of your current life stems from you neglecting to choose an elective class in sixth grade. And getting put into whatever, where, whatever meant orchestra class. Uh, I had the opposite. I wanted to do as few electives as possible. And I was heavily into, like, photography when I was younger. Uh, but I got turned off from doing photography because the art teacher was, like, a mega bitch. And so, because everything revolving around photography when I wasn't taking pictures was just arduous and awful... It turned me off of ever continuing to take pictures. It was analog. I didn't have a digital camera. I didn't I didn't have a digital camera. And so it was it was weird to me like watching watching my animes and all of everyone was always like, "Oh my god, I have to pick electives. I don't know what to do after school. I need all these extracurricular clubs and activities." And me in real life watching the anime, I'm just like, "Why?" Why would you want that? I want as little electives and extracurricular activities as humanly fucking possible. I cannot understand you, Japanese culture. <laughs> Sometimes you need to set your boundaries or else you're going to be vulnerable to abuse. Oh, absolutely. I have, I have been told on more than one occasion that I am the perfect victim for manipulative men because I just... I just want to be open, and I want to be loyal and devoted, and that's very easy to take advantage of, which is unfortunate. A seven's Requiem, thank you for the five dollars. Uh, did you just hear me say that them garden tools ain't loyal? You did. The most now get, thank you for the two dollars. No, that's how you get turned into a coat! I, uh... I, I had a bit of a warped sense of self-preservation when I was younger as well, because it's like, when you... When you grow up seeing some of the shit that I've seen, you sort of get that, like, well, I've been through all of this, so clearly I'm invulnerable. But that's... that's not true! And then, unfortunately, instead of getting a, a healthy dose of self-preservation, I swung... so far in the opposite direction that I became, like, terrified of everything. <laughs> Chat's pretty ugly, right, Kirsha? I mean, both of you guys are black. Uh, it's, uh, it's just easier to read. I don't- it's not, it's not pretty or anything. It's not pretty, it's not ugly, it's just- it's just easy to read. I hate this whole, I'm not gay if I'm a trans woman thing. Just be gay! <laughs> I also hate it because it stems from- it stems from all those jokes of like, Haha, traps aren't gay because they're- they're still- they still look like women. I was like, that was fine when it was on 4chan. You take your meds. Meds, hey! I was, that was fine. That was fine when it was on 4chan, but then... I only just got here, but I just feel like saying, after six months of frustration, it's nice to hear a solicitor call out, don't let them forget, you're not going anywhere. Hell As yeah! You his office after a consultation over a housing dispute. You're gonna, you're gonna fucking win, dude. Congratulations on finding a nice, a nice solicitor. Thank you for five dollars. Thank you, thank you. What was I, what was I saying? Fucking, yeah, 4chan joke. But then, but then normies started cluing in on what traps were in anime. 
And then we started getting those YouTube videos that pop the fuck off of like, here's mathematically why you're still straight even if you watch Traps, and Traps aren't actually gay. And then people like, solidified that as part of their personality. And it's like, I don't really care how much you want it to be true. Traps are gay. You are gay if you fuck something that has or had a penis. And that's okay. That's okay if you're gay. That's not, you don't have to be ashamed of it, dude. It's, uh, it's fucking current year. <laughs> Must have supple skin. I'm for creatine. Thank you the $10. Have you ever pulled that cramp with a girl you swear your grandfather, a Greek Orthodox priest, would crawl out of his grave and choke you out with his bony fingers? That or your still alive grandma would. Jesus Christ. Infernal Saxon, thank you for the $2. I find you intriguing. Let's have a chat. Yeah, just, just talk to me like... Talk to me like a weird librarian who's never had any human interaction. <laughs> Mine, you Hold on, my chat, my chat keeps like fucking giga scrolling. Improv man, thank you for the two dollars. Okay then, it is decided you will have soup later. I love soup! I love soup! If you... <laughs> getting... Getting... An image of how, like, I think... Man, I never felt more connected with a movie than when I watched The Secretary. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, I've never been a drug addict, right? I've never- I've never had to go to, like, rehab for self-harm. I've never- I've never been, like, that far gone. The Secretary. As a great movie. Not the horse movie, no. The lawyer movie. The diagnosis is that you're getting old people eyes, but yeah, Nim, you're not guy. old. Like You're... strap, why are you gay? Why are you gay? Massive doggo, thank you for the 690. Yeah, with Maggie Gyllenhaal. That was Maggie Gyllenhaal. That is that is unironically like the best way to get into my brain. <laughs> you fucking bottom! Once again, I am French. Bam. Did the part where she peed her wedding dress on purpose sitting at his desk speak to you? Unironically, yes, because I have that kind of stubbornness. If there is if there is something I want, if there is something I want to do, I have that kind of stubbornness to complete that task. I'm gonna go shopping later, yummy foxu. <laughs> later, dude. <laughs> That's a thing. Master Go, they give you the two dollars. The government is making Kier's men gay to stop her genes. We must prevent them? Hate to repeat yourself, but you're pretty sure the whole forest play thing in the Bow movie was the director trying to explain to viewers, see, we're inside Bo's head, right? And we're watching Bo's story inside his head without complete hand-holding the audience to explain the rest of the movie. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty much what I was saying earlier. Which is why the play started looping from, like, what was happening in the past to what was happening in current time to then going into Bo's what if I wasn't the way that I am, which is, like, the family, the kids, etc. Yeah, no, I, I agreed with you. Anime tramps are just drawn women with a drawn-on penis. It's the same as the anime muscle mommy that are just drawn men with drawn female face and boba. Liking anime traps and being willing to have sex with a trap IRL are completely different. Yes. Which is why when porn addicted men go down the Fuda rabbit hole and become obsessed with Fuda, and I'm sorry if you're into Fuda, you probably are starting a porn addiction, they become unable to do things with women in real life. And you might not notice you have this issue because you might not have a woman in your life at this moment. No, no, no shade. But it's going to become a problem. Your brain is going to be warped into thinking of women with these features and you're going to struggle in real life. And when I realized how many men who enter the field of Fuda in hentai end up getting a warped perspective on what women are in real life and have struggles with them performing sexually, it made me want to look into ways to support uh, help with porn addiction, which is, which is why one of, one of the only charities I've donated to in my adult life is Fight the New Drug. Terry Terry Crews reps this uh this charity all the time and Fight the New Drug revolves around helping men with porn addiction and trying to remove the like stigma around talking about porn addiction because people don't think it's a real thing and so men typically just get like laughed at when they bring it up. Phoenix DS, thank you for the five Canadians. Where you live in the gene pool is rather shallow. And they've been all around the block more than you can count. Sad that you see them while at work. I am sorry to hear that. 
Hopefully you find someone not in your immediate shallow gene pool. Max Euphemism, thank you for the 499. You couldn't decide on a major in college, so you flipped a coin, landed in electrical engineering. Your career trajectory was decided by fate and the cosmos. See, I can't do that. If I, f if I flip a coin, I will just endlessly worry about whether I did the right thing. But if somebody else that I trust is just like, you should do this. I'm like, oh, okay. Don't question it at all. Emperor Creatine, thank you for the $2. What's Gaia, Traps, or Fuda? Uh, they're, they're the same level of gay. There's there's no mathematical equation here. Neon Suspenders, thank you for the five dollars. Just got an in-person interview for a sys admin job. We're gonna make it! Hell yeah! Congrats! I hope your interview goes fucking smashingly, dude. AI Malone, thank you for the ten dollars. A slightly related question: Would you befriend Chris Chen in your younger years, preteen Chris? Also, Romans had it right. It's not gay. You're just sexually dominating a weaker male. Well, I don't think we should take pointers from a civilization that has already collapsed in a way that was rife with hedonism. Uh, and also, I mean, I don't know. I don't remember anything about Chris Chan from his teen years. I, I don't know if any of my friends that I had when I was giga young were, like, autism-infused. Radstorm, thank you for the two dollar doodles. Is it gay for women to like traps? Do not the fooda? I mean, I think, I think dominant women make sense if they like a trap. Right? Because, like, that's the humiliation factor is also part of it. Phoenix DS, thank you for the two Canadians. Want to know warped? Just look into furries. Okay, that's a, that's a different, that's a different direction entirely. Saying porn addiction isn't real is like saying gambling addiction isn't real. Activities that release dopamine affect addictive personalities. Yep. Hard agree. Hard agree. But there's still people that would say, like, it's not real because you can, you can actually just stop anytime you want. It's not like a drug that alters the chemistry of your brain. I would- I would kind of beg to differ. Like, porn addiction is definitely different from something like heroin addiction, right? Definitely- DEFINITELY DIFFERENT! But it's still altering your brain chemistry from all the dopamine hits that you're taking. Five pounds, they give the five dollars, B64, have tall girl fetish. The Lord has already blackpilled me. Oh no. Oh no, not like this, dude. <laughs> Kirsha gets anxiety over coin flipping too. Yeah. Nim, Nim used to suggest that to me all the time. He'd be like, oh, if you can't decide, just, like, spin a wheel, flip a coin, and I would start panicking. Now he knows better. <laughs> Help! The internet is far more addictive than anything we've mentioned so far. Let's be real. I don't think kids belong on social media, man. I think, I think that, is, that is a huge fucking issue. Oh, shit, tonight's movie! Wait, what do you mean? Also, a third Vash has hit the chat. Addictions rewire your brain and create new neural pathways that cement that addiction. Yes. Yes. And kids are being raised by social media? Yeah, and they shouldn't be. They shouldn't be. And chemical addictions are physical. They can actually kill people trying to quit. Habitual addictions are mental and become terrifyingly routine. Yes, that's a good way to put it. It's a very good way to- more eloquently than I could have. Thank you, Lolly, dude. Kirsha spins the wheel, the wheel breaks. Unironically, I have the worst luck with these things. I have the worst luck. I really, I really want to get to play, uh, Deadly Premonition today. But I do have a Daily Mail grab bag that I would like to get through as well. Because fuck, I hate leaving Daily Mail links open in my tabs. Daily, Daily Mail has some, like, weird fucking anti-Kirsha trigger where... Their, their pages will just refresh to the home page, and I have to scroll through my history to find the Daily Mail pages. I don't know why they do that. I don't know why they do that. Daily Mail, suck a cock. I hate you. Deadly Premonition on Not Weekend. I have been craving to play that game, but I have not had any time with which to do so. Speaking of the tangents, uh, this Friday, this Friday... At noon Eastern, I will be on the Side Scrollers podcast. Uh, I'll be talking. I'll be talking with the Side Scrollers people. That'll be that'll be interesting. I have no idea what to expect. Literally, literally no idea what to. I'm going in fucking blind. So instead of Tangent Friday, we're gonna we're gonna be on we're gonna be on Side Scrollers. My sleep will be hella messed up. <laughs> we're gaming, and so uh, Tangent Friday will be redirected to Saturday once again. We've, we've had to replace Saturday with Tangent Friday in the past, and so we're going to be doing that this week, too. Will Razor Fist be there, or just Craig? I have no idea who's going to be there on Friday, so we'll, we'll fucking find out. We'll fucking find out! 
Maybe do no script, uh, then when you need to use the tab, enable JavaScript on that tab only. I have no idea what you just said, so I will find a way to fuck it up. Talk to Razorfist about bridge. I- Oh, wow! You guys reminded me I need to put my, uh... My last, um... Where's my content tab? My last VOD, because I had- I had new bridge information. New bridge information! View my channel! View my cha live. View my live VOD channels. A very, very merry, sensational, shouty Sunday. Copy link address. We gotta go plop this dumb bitch in the DEI and bridge ideological subversion thread. Uh, so, for anyone who is interested in any of the bridge fucking nonsense, uh, all of the shit that I have found, all of the archived links, my my original VOD on bridge from January. Uh, my Legal Mindset collab where we talked a bit about Bridge. And then my Sunday stream last week uh, where I finished talking about all of the new stuff related to Bridge that I found. Uh, all in a channel in Discord. So all of the resources are very easy to find. There's a Fillion collab with Kirsha. We haven't set a date yet or exactly what we're doing. But yes, we are we are planning things. We are planning things. I would I would like to I would like to try and molest Pippa again recently as well. I miss I miss the Benoy. I miss the Benoy! Phoenix DS, thank you for the ten Canadians. Ultimate bag of fate, stick a hand in a bag of runes and then read the rune on the way it's pulled out. I don't I don't know. That would that would that would cause intense anxiety, dude. Do coke and backflips with Fillion? I don't have any cocaine. Oh chat. Am I going to mention Bridge to Fillion? Chat, Fillion is not a political streamer. She is even more not a political streamer than Pippa is not a political streamer. All right. Mention mentioning Bridge would not only be rude to Fillion, but it would be me like shitting on someone else's carpet. All right. <laughs> you were banned from Hassan Abi's chat. Is this place a good place for news? I mean, probably not if you watch Hassan Abi, because you won't agree with literally anything I say, but like, welcome, Kami? Question mark? No bridge, only sounding. <laughs> yeah, like when I when I was watching uh, Fillion watch the streamer awards and she was just like, what's, what's Roe versus Wade? Like she didn't understand the abortion joke. And I was like, oh. Oh, man. Oh, no. And, like, her entire chat was just like, oh, it's political shit. Don't worry about it. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. I have to be on my most bestest, most say-so behavior. You sweet summer child. Remember, no George Floyd jokes? That's her job. <laughs> I still cannot believe that the same people, the same people, Say, oh, actually, never mind. I thought I thought the words in my head and I changed my opinion. I can believe that the same people who are like, Uki's not a racist, white people deserve it, are the exact same people who were just like, she made a George Floyd joke two years ago. <laughs> She's a villain. <laughs> Do the fox things with Fillion? Uh, that's a good way to get me to puke. If I, if I try, if I try schmoving around, as much as Fillion does with a VR headset on, it will just become a vomit stream. <laughs> I I get taken the fuck out in VR, dude. I need I need some like slow dog, practice in VR and not getting in the Shrek go kart. Oh my god, Master Go! They give it the two dollars. You have to call her Filipino Frank at least once. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to ask her the Filipino Frank lore. Don't worry, new pals, the Leah and Iori collabs went great, no politics. Rest assured, the fox can put away the sword. I can. I can. I, I always try to be... I always try to take cues from the person I am streaming with for the first time, right? It's like, if they, if they push a line, I'm like, okay, I see you. I know how to step up to that. But I'm not, I'm not gonna push it further. <laughs> You can say, Kier, you haven't used VR since the incident. We need to get you in more. I need to I need to redo that spooky house one. Dude, that spooky house one, I was shaking and sweating. I was becoming a buttered baked potato in real time. 
cutie deer girl is good egg. I love Iori. She wants people to lick her salty armpits. You seen the Wendy's dynamic pricing stuff? Test run for bridge for diverse pricing? I have not. I have not. What the fuck is that? The equity of pricing is already upon us? VR horror makes pee fox. That's why I have a towel, obviously. There's actually more viewers on YouTube than Twitch. Don't tell me that. Don't, don't tell me that. <laughs> Wait, they're actually implementing that? Did you guys think I was lying to you about Bridge? What do you mean? They're actually implementing that. They're going to increase the prices of burgers during rush hours. What the fuck? They're going to charge more during peak hours like Uber. And I didn't know Uber had dynamic pricing that way, but I guess I don't really take Ubers very often. You can give me butt scratches like I'm a real pet. You there, Fox, say something wise. No, Brown Bear, thank you for the five dollars. Do, do not eat raw meat. You're welcome. <laughs> Bridge is the rebrand of DEI. They're rebranding DEI to a lot of different like lettering right now. Uh, like one of them is Jedi. So the, the text typically doesn't matter, but Bridge is the insidious underlayer of all of the new rebranding. Regardless of what it's being called on a company per company basis, Bridge is the new foundation. Bridge, bridge is what we have to be worried about. Not the acronym, but the implementation. Raw meat is normally okay to consume if your body is used to consuming it, and if the meat is clean and fresh. <laughs> Order 66 now. Do I like butt scratches? I love back scratches. One of, one of my fondest memories of growing up is like whenever I would get ready for bed, I like I didn't like going to bed because I've always been a night person. So getting me to get into bed and ready to sleep was like I needed to be incentivized. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes I would get into bed and like my grandfather would give me back scratches. Oh god, back scratches feel so fucking good. It was so nice, man. You don't even trust sushi. I've eaten a lot of sushi, and I've only gotten food poisoning once. Your body beats parasites! Oh my god. Your back desires nails dragged along your back. I'm good at that! I can do that! Smoke some scorpions. No, thank you! I will not eat those. Uh, Phoenix DS, thank you for the 10 Canadians. You could do a Hot Ones challenge. Reaper 51 is 1.5 mil. <laughs> Help. SCH compared to the bomb. I could... I could do a Hot Ones challenge. You could you could give me some like zesty ranch and maybe maybe like a, a carrot cooked with some uh, red pepper flakes. You could you could uh, you could give me some uh, spicy teriyaki. Maybe maybe we could even go crazy and get some smoky barbecue. <laughs> The Foxy's claws must feel amazing from the scritches. When I first do my nails, because when you when you paint your nails, you, you cap them. If you don't cap your nails, that's that's just like painting the edge of your nail, rather. If you don't cap them, uh, they will start peeling from the top and they will look very bad when you when you tippy tap on stuff. Uh, so it usually takes a few days. Like, the day and the day after I do my nails, they're dull as fuck. Like, I can't scratch shit, man. I cannot scratch shit. As it just feels like rubbing rubber against my body. Just remember, the pain that it inflicts on the way in is less than the pain it inflicts on the way out. Proctor, why are you ERP typing in my chat? Did you did you mean to put that in a DM for someone? Are you, are you like, sexualizing with your Discord kitten and then you just, you just typed in the wrong chat? What are you- what is happening? <laughs> I love Tippy Tappies! Tippy- Tippy Tappies! We gotta... My dad hates Tippy Tappies. Whenever- whenever I'm texting in my dad's car, he would always just be like, can you- can you wait to do that? Can you not- can you not do that in the car? <laughs> like a good keyboard! Oh, that was just my phone. My keyboard's way fucking louder. 
My keyboard's way fucking louder. Kirsha has them claws. <laughs> ASMR stream now. You will clean your room. You will take those empty bottles off the floor and put them in the garbage. You will take your dishes and put them in the sink and soak them so that you can wash them clean after. You will pick up your dirty laundry and put it in a basket. You will be a good boy. <laughs> no! <laughs> no sink, only floor! I don't have to clean my room if I'm homeless! Don't say that! You're in my office at the moment, but you should do that when you get back, honestly. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. This is just gender-bent Jordan Peterson! You will wash your penis. <laughs> I don't have to do laundry if I never wear clothes. I don't remember. Actually, no. I have, I have like, two dresses that I wear when I go to my massage therapist. Because, like, I want to be able to undress as quickly as possible and then redress as quickly as possible afterwards. So I have like, I have like two cotton sundresses that I'll like wear to my massage therapist with some, with some leather sandals. <laughs> and then, uh, those are pretty much the only clothes I wear outside. Right, Like I have an entire closet filled with nice clothes and shoes, but I just, I don't fucking go anywhere anymore. I don't have anyone to go anywhere with. So I have no reason to wear like real clothes. I just wear, like, pajamas all the time. <laughs> the trouble with a woman trying to say that is that any experienced man knows that he can just ignore the problem long enough and she'll do it for him out of embarrassment by proxy. If you're gonna be a dumb bitch and leave your clothes on the floor so the cat pisses on them, that's not my problem. That's, that's your, that's a you, that's not my problem. You're gonna fix your shit real quick, or you're gonna smell like cat piss all the time. Relatable, but I actually go to work! <laughs> you kinda hate the gender-bent Jordan Peterson. It's such a good explanation of Kirsha streams because the fox woman attracts me, not Jordan! I will never acquire an opiate addiction, I promise you that. <laughs> Infernal sex, and thank you for the five dollars. Mail on stream! It's USPS! On another note, since it's been brought up again, do you know about the secret underground cheese bunkers? Yes. Yes, I will raid the underground cheese bunkers. Lolly is here? Yeah, he's typically hanging out in the chat. Typically, typically hanging out. Gooby! Thank you for the two. Ah! Randomly setting off your ASMR with the tappies. People, people mention that when I, when I motherfucking, uh, type on my keyboard as well. Hidden, thank you for the 499 sundresses. Care shall love. Yeah. I had uh I had I had art made. All all of my commissions that I commissioned back in like September, October last year are finally finishing up. Hell yeah. Uh I'm not doing anything with these yet because I I need to The weight the weight of trying to figure out what the fucking do with merch is crushing me, chat. Every time I feel like I find a place that's, like, pretty okay, they're either just like, oh, we're not taking on new creators right now, or they, like, ghost me like Mythic did, or they, like, they just, like, implode as a company, and, like, I just, they, don't, they don't exist anymore. How the fuck do I do merch, chat? How the fuck do I do merch, chat? It's, I, I, I'm gonna have a breakdown over this one day. I'm gonna unironically have a fucking breakdown on, on, on just fucking merch bullshit, dude. It brings me so much anxiety, it is crazy. Try Uwu Market. I already have merch with Uwu Market, but I want I want to have more control over my merch. I want to have more control over my merch. I want to control the drops more. I want to keep more of the profit, right? Like I, I just I want to do more of it fox, myself. And you put the fox in your house, it's gonna do fox things. I do the fox thing! Here, have some Monopoly Buccarinos. Monopoly Buccarinos, thank you! Thank you, professional gentleman, for the ten dollar doodles! Thank you, thank you! Speaking of merch, are foreskin leather shoes morally okay? 
I don't think I could sell foreskin leather shoes online and be in compliance with FTC guidelines. I feel like I would be investigated because they'd be like, mm, Miss, we see here that you've sold 300 pairs of foreskin leather shoes, uh, and we need to know uh, where you're getting these foreskins. Uh, is there... Is there a distributor we need to investigate as well? Or are you locally sourcing them? Like we, you're under arrest, ma'am. <laughs> it's an honor to get a sup from you. The, the spoony man's here. Moonshine, do I want you to hook me up with gimme swag and get a Kirsha plush made? Maybe, maybe, maybe I've, I've been looking, I've been looking for a place that can do uh, pretty much anything, right? Like, if Look I have to... toxic sluts. If... I would prefer having a middleman to do the, like, managerial part of it, and I don't have an actual manager, so, like, I don't... I don't know how that would work. There was one company I was talking to that's basically a middleman, and they're just like, you will pay for the merchandising, you will pay for the manufacturing, you'll pay for the shipping, you'll pay for the warehouse cost, you pay for everything! And we'll just, like, do the talking, right? I was like, 80-20 split. And I'm like, that's perfect. I will give you 20% to do all of that back-end shit that I don't know how to deal with. That sounds great. Uh, that, that sounds perfect. But then the company imploded. So uh, I'm, I'm left here with, like, my limp dick in my hand. Confused and sad. And not sure where to go from here. <laughs> they give you 20%? That's the standard? No. This was 80% to me, 20% to them. Which is what I want. Right? When you get the 20%, that's them handling everything, including costs. So, like, when you when you talk to a merch company and they're just like, we're gonna give you the, the 20 to 25%, they're typically handling the cost of artwork, even if you source it from an artist yourself, they, they will pay the cost. They pay the cost for warehousing, they pay the cost for uh, manufacturing, they pay the cost for shipping. They handle all of the costs, which is why your cut is so much lower. <laughs> Speaking of merch, oh my god, oh my god. But yeah, uh, you, you, could give, you could give me the name of your, your distributor people, Moonshine, I would, I would appreciate. I would appreciate. I'm definitely, definitely looking more for a middle management company than someone who handles the entire process. But we'll see, we'll see what we can get. Why haven't I solicited for a manager yet? I don't know how to solicit for a manager. I don't, I don't know how to do that. And it's like, whoever, whoever I bring on as a manager, it has to be someone that I like, can crazy trust. Which is a horrific thing to think about. Because, like, Nim, Nim is someone I've known for years, which is why I trust him to the level that I do. And he has access to so much shit. And if I get a manager, they will have access to even more shit than Nim. And that is a scary prospect for someone who might not know what they're doing as a manager. Uh, and so, like, I, I just, like, hmm, hmm, hmm. That scares me, dude. It really scares me. It would have been a bigger shock if Sargon was here. He hates VTubers. The day Sargon comes here is the day hell freezes over. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you don't even trust your family. They mean oh, well, but they're just oh, human. Oh, I found it. Oh, I found it. Where would my old Terra streams happen to be? You have an idea, but you need sources to work with and research. Uh, Centurion Max, thank you for the dollar. Uh, there are some on my VOD channel, not a whole lot. Um, and also, where is this link? Hold on, I gotta find it. Uh, it's not this. Uh, here. Uh, I'm gonna post this in the Twitch chat. Uh, this clips.cleartronic.net website. Very fucking useful. If you're, if you're a clipper, if you clip your own content and turn them into videos. Or if you're someone who just wants to like do some deep dive reps on your Oshi. This Claretronic website, I'm gonna fucking spam it chat. Uh, this will let you see pretty much every clip that's been created on a channel since the dawn of time. Unless it's been deleted. If it's been deleted, it can't help you. 
But like this, this is how I did my nostalgia streams, which we haven't had for a very long time. Uh, but I would do my nostalgia streams. We got through 2020, so we got to start on 2021 whenever I decide to do those again. Uh, but that, that you can search by, by date. You can search by game category. Uh, obviously you got to put in a channel name. That's, that's a very, very useful resource. Incredibly fucking useful. Can it show me where Fruit's money went? No, it can't. Don't need reps, just don't glow. <laughs> the nostalgia streams. <laughs> did, did, uh, did I ever contact the Alex manager guy you linked for me the other day? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Whenever, whenever I get given a contact, I get like absolutely fucking nervous out of my fucking mind to contact them. Because it's like, I don't know. What if they say no? What if the other people they already manage get upset that I reached out to their manager? What if, what if, what if like they don't have uh, the knowledge that I'm looking for and I have to say no? I was like, oh my god, I'm like the Dave Chappelle of VTubers as I literally made a supercut where you were an equal opportunity hater. Thank you. <laughs> Chappelle is the goat, dude. Take it, I didn't contact your suggestion. I don't even remember your suggestion, so that would be correct. I, if you have a suggestion for a manager to me, please give it to Nim. Please, please give it to Nim and then Nim can contact them so I can't brainworm and be a woman about it. <laughs> you miss all the chances you don't take. I know, I know. The last time I took a chance, Nim. I ended up, Nim. I ended up being autistic about yeah! a delivery driver. If you have a suggestion for a manager, give it to my manager! Nim's not a manager, and so he has incentive to not slack off and actually contact those people. Don't let your woman <laughs> brain get in the way of using my brain to do things. Necron Overlord, thank you for the two dollars. Dream promotion opened up in Montana. Wish you luck. Good fucking luck, dude! Montana's a beautiful state. I hope you get it. You need to be a little bit selfish in that regard, Kirsha. If you worry about people who wouldn't extend you the same concern, you only lose out. I mean, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Kirsha, I need a manager. Kirsha gets manager contacts. Kirsha is scared. It's true and real. It's true. It's true and real. It's, it's, I'm like, again, paralyzed by the fear of choices. Super chat won't let you say just YouTube Filipino Frank origin. Why would I YouTube it when it can be a talking point that she can tell me about? That would be a lot more fun. That sounds like a lot more entertainment, unironically. Can you apply? You have zero managerial experience, but as a black Nim. Latino transsexual, Nim. I think I'm Nim. qualified under Nim. DEI. Yeah. No. <laughs> Is that Nim's voice? It's smooth as I'm butter. I'm into the it frog vomit butthole, but like, I'm curious if he's done it. I've been working on a new AI framework and in theory I could work with you to build something that could at least handle basic research and responding to emails and stuff. My consulting rate is high though. I don't- I don't think having AI handle that would be a good idea seeing the fucking loop that I'm stuck in with Twitter support. But thank you for the offer, Toast Engineer. Thank you for the fifteen dollar doodles. Well, thank you, thank you. Did I see the Asmongold react to Hassan and streamer drama? It was painful to watch. I had to watch something else. I don't... I don't really know what is exactly going on with that streamer drama. Do I have a tab for that? Do I have a tab for that? Oh, I do. I have like a six minute tab from someone named Decoy Voice. I don't know who that is. I guess we could watch that before I do my... my daily mail tabs. I could... I could... I could do that because I, I don't really know what the fuck they were saying. I'm gonna be real with you. Wowie zowie, it's really hard to believe that the woman thing is just gay fabe and behind the model is a 45-year-old obese African-American man. You play the part very well. <laughs> Decoy vo voiced as Giga-based? I don't know who it is. This is just what somebody posted in stream suggestions, so... Twitch streamer, millionaire, and champagne socialist, Hassan recently went on stream to cry about how difficult his job is constantly having to do this for nine hours with like a back and forth interaction for nine hours that's what that's what like sucks your your social battery and you just tap out after it yes a real job can be gruesome a real job can make you very tired but a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you you know what i mean 
No, I feel like quote unquote real jobs are also soul sucking. I don't know what he means by that. I don't I don't know what he means by that. In the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. Now, honestly, I feel compelled to talk about this as I both had regular jobs and online live streaming jobs. Yeah, yeah. As he sits behind thousands of dollars of equipment wearing his Rolex hat, preaching to people that don't live in- I didn't know that Rolex made hats. I thought they were just watch people. Million dollar LA mansions, crying about the difficulties of streaming on Twitch as so-called regular jobs don't suck your soul or drain your social battery like this. It's just the sheer absurdity that he thinks his audience would somehow sympathize for his social battery. It just shows how little he understands the struggles of an average person doing actual backbreaking work. I live stream, and of course it could be mentally draining talking yeah. non-stop yeah. for several hours to a screen, but I would never complain about the single most simple way to make money in the history of humanity being available to me a regular person not born from royalty because i what? i feel like prostitution is probably easier more dangerous way more dangerous than streaming but easier I worked eight hour shifts washing dishes, overnight shifts as a janitor, security details in the shady parts of the city, and stupid sales jobs selling overpriced designer stuff to pompous people just like Hassan, all while still going to college full time and even made it to a place where I actually had a desk working on a computer. And I'll tell you right now, I'd easily take the hardest day of being a content creator over the easiest day at any one of those jobs. So for Hassan to speak... I, I kind of disagree with that you a little bit. How to be a prostitute? A have hold. Doesn't suck the soul out of you. Then get a real job, you lazy fucking bastard. <laughs> yeah, all right. One of them. Thank you for the five dollary doodles. I would. I would say. I would say just just based on this for right now. And I, like, I'm I, depending on what happens. Like maybe I'll change my opinion. But for now, I think majority of jobs are definitely harder than streaming. And like, especially if you take into account like manual labor jobs, like there's zero fucking way I would ever compare what I do to something like construction or like underwater welding or like plumbing, right? Like there's just no fucking way, right? And a bunch of countries like Germany and the Netherlands, what? What? Send a son to the oil rig. Yeah, exactly, right? Like fuck exactly. But why can't we just agree that all jobs take a toll on you mentally or physically unless you're lucky? I mean, that that should be the take, right? Every job does have its shit, though, at least at your job. You don't have people trying to find out where you live. I, I've worked desk jobs, and I would say unless you are in some sort of, like, high managerial position, that a desk job is way easier than streaming. A desk job is way easier than streaming, because you don't have as much responsibility. If you're streaming as a hobby, you're not gonna have the same responsibility either, and thus streaming as a hobby will be a lot easier than your job. If you're streaming, someone like me, who does it full-time for income, I have a lot more responsibility than just turn camera on, speak for a little bit, leave. I have a lot of back-end responsibilities if I want to keep making money. I have a lot of contracts to keep up with. I have to I sign to NDAs. I have to do crazy shit for my taxes vampires. instead of just filling out one form. You want a job that sucks your soul and leaves you drained mentally and physically? Work at a mental institution. Rich <laughs> boy wouldn't last a week there. Oh, I wouldn't last a week at a mental institution, dude. Those people need to have some fortitude. Like that is That is crazy work. Asmaria, thank you for the twenty dollar doodles. Is it soul sucking? Absolutely. All jobs can be soul sucking. Absolutely. C trying, trying to say that streaming is more soul sucking than even a desk job is fucking crazy. Send her sandpiker to buy for dolphin now. <laughs> Turn him into spaghetti. I work at a hospital as a pharmacy tech. It's not that hard, but an overcrowding hospital can be hectic. That yeah. being said, problem nurses can make it really difficult. And like when I when I worked in insurance and I was doing just claims grunt work, there was nothing about my claims grunt work that would make me equate that job to streaming. Streaming is harder than that and more stressful than that 100% of the time. When I started getting promotions, 
and I started having to deal with managerial responsibilities, started having to deal with more responsibilities on top of that, not just filling out claims like some sort of robot, but having to check the work of field adjusters, having to, having to check if people were lying about things, <laughs> doing investigations, that was more stressful than streaming is. I, I had to deal with managing people. I had to fire people. I had to train people. I, I had to answer their questions like non-fucking stop. That was more stressful than this. I can talk to you guys in a way that's a very different dynamic than a manager and other employee dynamic. It's like there are stresses that come with talking to a massive audience, but I would take that kind of stress over the kind of managerial stress I felt interacting with people in that manner. And I think that's very evident by the fact that I had to quit my job because of the level of anxiety I had resulting from being in those stressful conditions. And then seeing streaming as something where I'm just talking through the screen and I can use that to sort of help my anxiety and get better at dealing with people. Hassan is the new Oprah. Being a mom is the hardest job. You can call us bitches, but we can do the same in response. I mean, I'm not calling you bitches. Both of your sister and mother work as special ed teachers. They get stuck with kids that either physically beat them up or scream at them, saying they don't have to listen to them because they're women. Yeah, like there, there are jobs that are just crazy that you don't even think about sometimes. Like I, I would not be able to be a special ed teacher. I would not be able to work as like a, a, a tech at an asylum. I would not be able to do those things. Kirsha, a bitch. Sergeant Buck, thank you for the $10. On an event day, you can spend up to 18 hours on the clock between prep and on-site work for catering. Hassan probably works so little with his hands that he can't comprehend a grilled cheese sandwich. Man's probably got smoother skin than I do. <laughs> Master Go, they give you the two dollars. Kier has to manage and fire us sometimes. In your experience as the manager of an understaffed fast food place, you'd say the most stressful part was trying to make sure shifts were filled. And whatever shifts weren't filled were your responsibility. Yeah. I would I would absolutely say a manager at a fast food place, probably more stressful than what I do to a degree. Being, being the actual fast food worker, you don't have to deal with the same responsibilities. You don't, you don't have any of the responsibilities, which is what would make streaming stressful. Like, again, like if it's a hobby, you don't deal with those at all whatsoever in any way, shape or form. But if you're doing streaming as a full-time job, there are stressors that people just don't think about. You're wrangling like 16 to 18 year olds? Dude, that fucking wrangling, man. <laughs> Mr. Beto, thank you for the, the tier two subby bubby. Thank you, thank you. Problem with fast food is even getting hired. True. Worker, do your job. Manager, do everyone's job at the same time. Yeah. Like I've I've worked in retail. I've worked uh, in Isn't in uh, hospitality. I worked at a hotel before. Well? So I like I've had those grunt jobs. And while it is still soul sucking, so I don't know what Hassan was talking about. It still is obnoxious to deal with. Nobody really enjoys doing those bottom of the barrel jobs. I would not say that those are less stressful or more stressful. Yeah, I wouldn't say that those are more stressful than streaming. If you're doing streaming as a full-time thing. And then once you get to the point of like Hassan and Asmin, where they have massive support networks behind them because of the success that they've seen, it loops back around to being incredibly less stressful. Because you're not doing everything on your own. You have people that you've hired and you pay to do the work that you no longer have to worry about. You notice that at least for autistic males, it seems harder to get your foot in the door. And if you aren't able to hit the ground running, you're at risk of being doomed to poverty. Yeah. Your first job at 18 was in the oil field. Guarantee you Hassan wouldn't last long there. 102 degree heat with 100% humidity and proper welding attire. It's brutal. Yeah, welding welding is a crazy difficult job, in my opinion. I've known a couple of people who've done regular welding. Uh, not like oil field welding and not like uh, deep sea welding, but just like regular welding even. I could not, I could not do that, dude. <laughs> they lose touch with the common population. Yeah. Hassan is not paying shit. I'm sure he has people that work for him. 
It's even worse for Hassan because he was never small because of his uncle. True. True, true, true. Hassan never really was in that lack of support spot since he was always a top 0.1% Nepo baby. Yeah, you know, like, Asmin, Asmin, I can give him the... He came from basically fucking nothing. He started at the boom of streaming, so it's probably slightly easier for him to get noticed than it is for the average streamer today. But it's still, he had to work for that. He had to, he had to put in all of the effort that comes with being indie and not having managers. It's about seven years in IT and security with law firms. You can have some of the easiest days of your lives, but you can also have lawyers threatening to get you fired and blacklisted from the field because you said no to them when they want to do everything stupid and dangerous, even if you know they don't hold the ability at all. True. True and real. Mm. <sighs> what about me getting copy struck? You're sad that the vid that introduced you to Pippa, which then led to the fox, you got copy struck. Oh no. Oh no. The higher you go, the more the balance tips towards the higher or less stress you have. But sometimes you're high up and you don't have any issues, or other times you have responsibility of the world on your shoulders. Yeah. And like, I, I would say, it, when you're in a position of like a company CEO, even if you have all these people who work for you, you still have the stresses that come with being a CEO. As, as a streamer, even if I would technically be a quote unquote CEO of my brand, and if I got to the point where I have people working for me that take off certain stresses, I'm never going to have the same amount of stress as a corporate CEO. I'm, I'm never going to have the same type of stress as someone who runs like fucking Black and Decker, right? They're, they're going to have a lot more to worry about than I ever will in my small containment zone. I understand being a grunt is a lot more enjoyable than being a company commander. Especially when you sign off on one million dollars of army equipment they can make you pay for. <laughs> Would rather drive over ride fields than do that again. You're CEO of one person. Well, I would be a CEO of multiple people, right? Because, like, even if I have a manager who manages me, I pay that manager, right? Like, they're, they're doing a job for me. I would I, I have an editor currently that I pay, so that is, that is one person, right? I, I pay Nim, so, like, I'm, I'm slowly branching, as it were. If you fuck up as a CEO, that's entirely your own fault. Yeah. Like, if I fuck up, it's it's my fuck up regardless, you know? I have to I have to manage literally Jeez, everything in regards to my streaming <laughs> at this current moment. Come on, guys. Hassan's chair has Help. severe anxiety and stress issues Nim. from being on stream Nim. so many Nim. hours a day. Oil yeah. field is a stressful job. I have millions of dollars worth of equipment I'm responsible for. But hey, I have a whole four days off a month. I don't, I don't really understand how this conversation even got started because it's like, again, I don't like making this comparison because I don't like thinking of myself as some sort of weird celebrity because I don't think I am. But streamers and YouTubers are kind of like the modern day Hollywood celebrities, as it were. And celebrities have unique stressors that I don't think people would ignore, right? I work as a structural engineer. My job is mostly office, but I have to go to residential construction sites regularly, which isn't OSHA regulated. One time they didn't nail the scaffolding and cap the rebar. My co-worker fell through and got impaled. Jesus, fuck! Yeah, I don't have to worry about seeing someone get impaled on the job. Holy shit, BB Dash, thank you for the five dollars. Did they- did the company at least offer you guys, like, fucking counseling or some shit? God damn! Hassan whining about streamer life. I was just like, I think everybody would see celebrities and see what celebrities have to go to uh, with, like, the stress of taking on roles, the stress of being entertaining, the stress of, like, dealing with stalkers and paparazzi and having their life documented, having little- every little thing they say scrutinized and printed in, like, papers and shit all over the place. Now internet instead of paper. And so it's like, people- people wouldn't ignore the stress that comes with being that kind of Hollywood person. But I don't think people would say that it's, like, insanely difficult. Like, we never compared Hollywood actors to, like, oil rig workers, because why would we? That doesn't make any that doesn't make any sense, you know? We need to know if the co-worker survived. 
He could have presented the stressors rationally and people would sympathize, but instead he complained and said how much harder it was. So he was branded as a crybaby, rightfully, but that discredits anyone else now. Yeah, it, it does, unfortunately. Like, in, in my opinion, streaming full-time as a career is more stressful than doing grunt work, more stressful than doing something like being a cash register worker, more stressful than being like a, a typical desk grunt, right? Those come with unique stressors. They're also fucking soul sucking, but they're not, they're not more difficult than streaming. You have like no responsibility when you're a grunt. And I have people to help me. And running a school was orders of magnitude worse. And that's not, that's not to say, that's not to say that those people are, like, bad or lesser, or, like, those jobs aren't worth it, right? Like, as frog people vomit, misconstrue butthole, it into that, like, I'm sure. I'm curious if he's done it. And it's like, again, these I are jobs that I have worked as well. Pizza chain. Everyone there was so miserable and hateful. I got so depressed I literally couldn't get out of bed to go to work. Made more money working for the apps anyway. That's kind of crazy. It's like, if, you, if you're working at a place where everybody is miserable and hateful, God, I hope you can fucking get out of there. I'm glad you did, Toast Engineer. It's like, I don't, I don't want people to work at a place where just, like, everyone is fucking in misery the whole time. Thank you for the $15 doodles. The co-worker survived. I didn't have enough symbols left to <laughs> say it was in the arm. Oh. And no counseling. Oh, BB Death, thank you for the $5. Okay, impaled through the arm. Still... Still not great to see, but at least I was picturing it through the abdomen, you know? I was, I was picturing, like, some giga impaling going on here. Thank you for the five dollars! <laughs> let, let me pull us back a bit. His complaint was interacting and streaming drained his social battery, which what he claimed was soul-sucking. So literally just him being an introvert. Introverts have their batteries drained from social interactions. He's complaining about being an introvert. And I mean, if, if he's, like, just literally complaining about being an introvert, he's just a fucking idiot. Like, once again, as someone with crippling anxiety that I'm on medication for, interacting with m hundreds of people on stream is a much easier thing to do than interacting with people in the managerial aspect that I had for my previous job that I had to quit because I was having panic attacks and vomiting too often. Way, way less stressful in that degree. Like, being on stream is the easiest part of being a streamer. It's the easiest and the most fun. Unironically. <laughs> Wasn't he also a guy that constantly reacts to other people's work and criticizes it? You don't think he's a really good worker? He's the guy where there's the meme that he just like leaves other people's content playing with an empty fucking chair. The impaling through the abdomen was one of the construction workers, not from our company. Oh God. Baby Death, thank you for the five dollars. Please stop getting people around you impaled. You're lucky as fuck. You work a night shift and can just sleep around five to six hours on the job. Yeah. I like I I've looped on the COVID pandemic stuff before, but it's like I was incredibly fucking lucky to be a streamer during the COVID pandemic. I wasn't making a lot of money. I was barely able to pay my bills. But I was incredibly fucking lucky to be in the position that I was in to even have that for income, right? Well, so many other people were losing their jobs or unsure of the state of their job or being threatened and forced to take COVID vaccines in order to keep their job. I was in such a fucking lucky position that I didn't have to deal with any of that. Even if I was poor as fuck and I was barely making like 500 bucks a month, I like I was still in a better position than most people during the pandemic. Local school system, IT is one of the most chill jobs ever. Good enough for government work, as we say, we leave right when the clock hits done time. No on-call or overtime. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And COVID was the best thing that happened to you since all the jobs I'm not moved into remote. The frog it's much better vomit, now, but it really butthole, sucks for other like, people. I'm curious if he's done it. Speaking of counseling from work, did you hear of the time the State Department's email signature pronoun management software broke and started misgendering people and the SD paid for their therapy? No, but that sounds so fucking stupid! What do you mean? Toast Engineer, thank you for the $15 doodles. Apparently us autistics did better during lockdown than normies. One, one thing that just blows my mind is this, this new, like, corporate cocksucking that keeps happening. 
where everyone's like, working, working from home is not a good idea for humans. Uh, people are going stir crazy and they need to get back into an office. And they have like quotes from people who are just like, I can't focus on my work if I work from home because I just get distracted with all of my comforts of living at home. And so I don't end up being as productive or getting as much work done. I don't understand this, and I believe the people that say that are unironically NPCs. Like, more, more than this just being, like, obvious corporate propaganda, the people who say that it's impossible to work from home because they need that separation of work and home in order to be able to function, I think those are NPCs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover myself in some tinfoil right now, chat. If we look throughout history, a lot of people who had comfortable jobs would do them from home. You had, you had writers, you had editors, you had artists, you had, you had all sorts of different types of people who would work from home instead of going to an office. You would go to an office if you were like making the newspapers, right, with the printing press. You would go to a job out in the field. You would go to a job like at the train station or at the ticket booth at a movie theater, right? Most people were able to function working from home. And especially now where we have the internet, we need traditional office jobs even less. And if people were able to be productive from home hundreds of years in the past, why are we not able to be productive from home nowadays? And maybe, maybe it's because I'm fucking autistic or introverted or anxiety ridden. I don't know. Working from home, regardless of the job that I had, when I when I tried doing stuff with, with Microsoft, although that didn't go very well, when I when I was working from home doing Jeez some of my uh, insurance bullshit, I was just as, if not more, productive than actually at the office. The separation of work area from relax area. The PPA who need an office likely live in tiny apartments without enough room to separate them. I could, I could take that as a reasoning because the people who typically would work from home would have an office in their house. They would have a specific room denoted to office work. You know, daddy's dead and you're not allowed in there kind of thing. Like I'm a real pet! I will say it's easier for my job to work in office. Mostly because of the people resources for engineering question. It is also helpful for working on deadlines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby does. Thank you for $5. I'm not, I'm not talking about like the efficiency of like resources i'm talking about the people who specifically are like i need to have that separation between work and home life in order to function and i think just that specific thing i think that is an npc dialogue some people needs it though some people npcs it, bb desk's example when like the the resources make it easier or it's helpful for doing like projects on a deadline that all makes sense. He's not using the example of it's necessary to have that differential between work and home. Like a different room or section of a room. Yeah, exactly. Like literally having an office. And that's why that's why like when I get moved, when I finally move, I don't know when that'll be, hopefully this year. But when I finally move, I will want a room in my house to be denoted as like my streaming office. And you see most streamers who are who are like larger they have they have a full streaming room not only is it a good idea so you don't annoy the fuck out of people you might happen to live with because you're screaming all the time but it's a good idea to have a work room in your house because that will be the separation you get in the work mindset in that room and then when you leave that room you're not necessarily thinking about if i can work 24 7. will there be a hot tub god i hope so it's also become clear to you that a lot of your job was filler, so now you just ignore the filler and focus on your task for the day? Mm -hmm. But why if you hate your wife? What? What about a chicken tendies room? That's the kitchen. You work from home, but you need to make mental separation from workspace and non-workspace because of ADHD? Yeah, uh, but, but that's exactly what I'm saying. Like, you should be able to make the mental separation without needing a physical, like, different location separation. So the people who are just like, we need to go back to the office because we need that separation between home and work. And without that, we're not going to be as productive. It's, we're not, we're not going to be as happy. I think those people are just NPCs. I think that is a very NPC take. Jim and Bug, thank you for the $2. What kind of NPC would you be? A glowing one. 
You work from home full time. It was essential to set up an office where you just do work things. Yeah. You know, like normal people can make that sort of distinction within their own homes. They can they can separate the room. NPCs cannot. They need an entirely different building. Must have paid out. They give the 200 biddies. You have an office, but work with most of your time in the living room. Some people can do the work from home. Some people need the office. You can ask questions that maybe aren't relevant to your job when you're in the office. But to say you're more efficient in the office is far from the truth. <laughs> it was easy for you to implement the mental separation. Yeah. You can get the same effect of office versus rec space by just changing your desktop background and flipping down a curtain. Yeah. Which is something I guess NPCs can't perceive because they also can't perceive hypotheticals. Yukon Hunter, thank you the 100 biddies. In fairness, we tradesmen don't get the ability to work from home. We have to be out in the f out there fixing power, water, sewer, cars, etc. We get shafted hard from COVID. Essential workers, my ass. Essential only if we got graped with the jab. Yeah. Yeah, that's why, that's why like, when, when Tim Pool would loop about how people were cowards if they didn't stick to their principles and got the jab just so they could keep their job and, like, keep providing. Uh, it's just like, I, I heavily disagree with that. Even if you have principles, that's not going to keep you or a family fed and housed. E like, even if you don't want to take the jab, if you're literally being threatened, and especially with the way the job market was I'm during COVID, the frog expecting vomit, people butthole, to be able to quit like, their jobs under I'm that kind of duress is it. like... He is, he is speaking from, from a crazy position of unironic privilege of in that case. Part of the reason feminism happened is because women used to do meaningful work at home most of the day, but factories took that away. Now they can again work while also taking care of kids at home. Yes, it's huge. It's huge. Once, once I felt like streaming was something I could do even for small tertiary income, I was like, man, this is going to be great when I do get a husbando. Because I don't need to completely stop working. I can I can still do a stream every once in a while and have small tertiary income for our family as long as the majority of my time is spent raising if the you child. Buy a fox. Buy me! And you put the fox in your house. Put me in your house. It's gonna do fox things. I do the fox things. I've added a desk to my guest bedroom and it is now my work office and offers near zero distractions. It is just the workroom. I will the kosh. Do not! Do not thank you for the ten dollars! Silly Gordo, they give the hundred biddies. You remember a British game journalist for Hot Culture before COVID? So he's not a PC gamer because he uses PC for work and he wants his video game space separate from it. I mean, just have like a work PC and a gaming PC. I, I guess I could understand that though. As, uh, some people would have the console for that. I do both on the same PC. I would like a second PC to offload some of the stress from streaming onto a different rig. Well, that's a different kind of thing. Grub first, then ethics, a Bertold Brecht, because even commies get something right sometimes. Your desk for work and leisure is in the bedroom. Hell yeah. Bedroom computer. You have the luxury of working a career that is always in demand. Yeah. Uh, it's just like, again, even if I was making very, very small amounts of money, I understand during COVID, I was in a position of unironic privilege. Like using that word correctly for once, you know? And I just, I think that was something Tim Pool did not understand while he was trying to call people Jeez, who gave up on, on their principles to take the jab to keep their job. I volunteer as sacrifice. I will the course, but I need to get out of Canada first. What? You do not the course, what is wrong with you? Stay in Canada. Cold acid, thank you for the $10. Thank you. Do I use a dual GPU PC? I do not. I do not have uh, two GPUs. I have a spare GPU that I could put in a streaming rig. Uh, I do need I do need to get more parts for it though. Vouch could have benefited from a work and pers personal PC. <laughs> True and real. And people who gave up let everyone else get sacrificed for their dumb families. What do you mean by people who gave up sacrificed others? Like, are, are you saying, like, not if, if everybody had just decided to not take the, the vaccine, then companies wouldn't have been able to, like, force people? The people who took the jab? That's, that's never, that was never going to happen. You, were, you would never have been able to convince enough people to not take the jab so that companies wouldn't have forced it to be implemented. That's, that's like a utopian view of, I wish that would have happened, but it's not logical. It's not, it's not <laughs> implementable. To give you a smaller scale, people in video games can't even en masse stop paying a subscription 
to get their video game company to treat them better. I like that. That's just, that's, that's just, it's just not gonna happen. You and your family come first always? 31, have never been fired from a job before, even during COVID, where you technically were supposed to be laid off due to your time there? What the heck? Feels awkward subscribing on Twitch, but watching on YouTube! It is what it is, you fucker. You fucker. But yeah, no, Twi Twitch has the animated emotes. Twitch chat, best chat. YouTube player, best player. Tim Pool, the only liberal you had respect for, and he goes ahead and becomes a liberal stereotype. Like, god fucking damn it, man! Yeah. Yeah. You didn't get it, but you were an independent contractor? Yeah. Like, if you were in a position to reject taking the jab, I'm sure everybody who didn't want it did so. I, I don't blame the people who took it because they needed to keep their jobs. And I think calling them cowards is a bit, a bit harsh and blind to their reality, right? Would it have been nice if everybody who didn't want to take it adamantly refused to? And hopefully that would have been enough people for all companies to renege and not have it as a mandatory thing? Yes. Yes, that would have been wonderful. But that is that is just as much of a pipe dream as the communist utopia of everyone living together in harmony. They are cowards, maybe it's not nice, but true. I don't I wouldn't I wouldn't call them cowards because it's not cowardly to not want to be poor and homeless. It's just it's just unfortunate that it's not something that we could have actually implemented. You kept getting sick every week. After the jab, you had to get ivermectin to fix all that shit floating around in your body. We kind of looped on this conversation recently because people wanted to say, like, the, the Niji Sanji livers who were protecting the company instead of leaving like others did weren't cowards. And I would disagree there. They're not working a traditional job. They wouldn't have to find another job. They could just start streaming on a past life or on a new account and be perfectly fine. And probably get even more support. All of the examples of people who have left Niji Sanji have had more support after leaving than they did in the company. I would call- I would absolutely call those people cowards because they had quite literally nothing to lose. Spider dude, thank you for the five dollars. Still on work horror stories, your dad saw a co-worker lit up like a Christmas tree on Christmas by an industrial electric panel. Lived, but was crispy. What the fuck? What the fuck? Your job tried to force the jab on everyone or get fired. A ton of people, yourself included, refused and they ended up dropping it. You work at a hospital. See? See, good fucking job. You could do it on a small scale. That's very amazing. If you were someone who could try to convince people at your place of work to band together and do something like that, absolutely do it. Absolutely fucking do it. I don't think it's feasible on a national scale to have expected that, though. There's way, there's way too many NPCs, there's way too many people who don't want to put a target on their back that you wouldn't have been able to do that on a national scale. The people who did that at their own workplaces, like you just said, Relia, fucking huge good job. That's actually fucking huge that a bunch of you were able to do that. Best Vlazy, thank you for the hundred pounds. Thank you. Holy shit, that's a lot of pounds. You work from home and find it better than the background noise in the office, but the soul-sucking part is when you realize that your field, consulting, is a glorified scam and parasitic in nature. You thought to yourself, what the fuck is my added value? Anyway, I like this stream. Well, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy hanging out here. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess consulting does kind of sound a bit like a glorified scam because you could probably find someone who does consulting and other things. Tim came from that Wild West Vice News lifestyle where you could just go and do things and get paid for it. He also had big money by COVID and no family. True. True and real. Anonymous. Thank you for the five dollar doodles. You took the jab against your principles, but that's because your aunt would not let you see your uncle if I did not, who was on late stage Parkinson's. Seeing your uncle before he died was more important to me. Yeah, that's like, you gotta, you gotta sometimes weigh pros and cons. I sometimes gotta do that, unfortunately. If you took the jab to save your job, you'd also would have helped the Nazis in 39. I could, I could definitely see that logic. I could definitely see that logic. Like, just personally, like, maybe I'm wrong, right? But personally... I don't think we would have been able to do anything on a national scale. I don't think enough people would have rejected taking the vaccine, even if I wished they would have. 
And I, I don't feel comfortable calling those people cowards for wanting to keep their jobs when they when they can't immediately have another source of income. I'm like, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Because, like, I call myself a coward for when I was worried about speaking out about certain things going on politically. When I, when I was afraid of speaking out about, like, autogynophilia and bullshit because I didn't want to get cancelled. I didn't want to have to deal with, like, Twitter fucking hate mob shit, you know? Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just me being a softy little woman not wanting to call them cowards because I apply that definition to myself for when, when I was acting a bit differently when I was younger. I don't know, man. I don't know. King King Heavy Meta, thank you for the twenty dollar doodles. Job market was terrible during lockdown. Companies listed positions that didn't exist just to get federal money. You were laid off as an IT admin, and it took seven months to find work in construction. That's that's a long fucking time, dude. You got laid off post COVID in the aftermath as a QA tester. Now flipping that coin on trades or game dev. Good luck. We need we need more non paused game devs. Unironically. Just like the pure blood thing, though, it sounds too much like ancient values of racial or lineage purity. I like calling myself a pure blood just for the joke. <laughs> Steel King, thank you for the $5. You would have been kicked out of the military if you hadn't taken the jab. You did what you had to do. I just like, I don't, I don't even know how you would implement something like that in the military, right? Like, how would you convince enough people in the military to just, to just reject having taken it, right? How do you, how do you do that? How do you do that? You know, if it's dev, it's more writers uh, and pitchers who suck ass. We need all of it. We need all of it. Because then the non-pause devs can speak up and be like, I'm not going to hire that fucking writer. I'm not going to do that. How far you've come from not wanting to cause a scene to uploading a four-minute advertisement of equal opportunity racism <laughs> to own Niji Sanji fans. It's like, if you're going to if you're gonna threaten me, I'm just going to fucking do it myself. It's not like I'm hiding anything. You're also a pureblood. At least that's what my doctor calls my pee. What the fuck? What the fuck? Everyone you knew who was for enforced jabs just went too bad, so sad when you mentioned people who may not be able to get it due to pre-existing medical conditions like MS or Guillain Barr. All of the people who did the like too bad, so sad, or did the like you have to get it, or did the like you're literally killing people if you don't get White it. Pill. Enough people refused the jab nationally that the government canned their plans for a vax ID and passports because people refused it. It may not be organized, but that spirit of rebellion is there. That's a good point. That's a good point. Maybe maybe it's a doomerist mentality for me to think that we couldn't have done like more on a national scale. Maybe maybe that's doomerist. Uh, maybe maybe I should hold the people more accountable for having the well, I need to keep my job. I don't know, man. It just feels a little weird to me to do that. It feels a little weird to me cuz it's like especially coming from again my position of on ironic usage privilege as being a streamer during COVID, I didn't have to deal with any of those threats of the jab. I didn't I didn't have to deal with worrying about losing my job or even the little income that I had. Those weren't those weren't worries that I had to worry about. So like who who am I to sit in my position of privilege and tell people who wouldn't have had any income if they quit their job or refused to take the jab, that they are a coward for doing that. It feels weird to me, right? It, feel, it feels weird to, to sit here and say something like that. I wish I was a 1099 Chad. <sighs> but like, Do Dr. Faust has a point. Maybe, maybe I was being too doomer. Maybe I should hold them more accountable. I don't know. The jab should have always been optional. Yes, it should have always been only optional. The more, the more the government pushed for the vaccines, the more paranoid I got. I didn't have any sort of like weird, they're putting X in the vaccine kind of conspiracy, but I didn't want to take it. And the more they demanded that we take it, the more I watched them restrict people's rights if they don't take it, the more I watched the double standard of those in power or those of a certain political affiliation not having to follow any of the standards they were trying to set out and it only applying to certain people, the more I was like, this whole thing is just bullshit. This whole thing is just a power grab and I'm not going to take your weird fucking vaccine. If it was good, then why do they have to force people? Exactly. You're glad your governor in Florida made it, uh, if where a company fired you over the jab, you could legally sue them? Good. Good. Every state should have done that. That is the correct course of action. 
You should never be forced into taking something. Ever. For any reason. Most Germans end up supporting the Nazis. It's just human nature to save themselves. It's just the way humans are. Hello, I'm new. Hello, new. Hello, new. Ghost X, thank you for the $10. Your ex-company tried to make you get the jab, but when you told them you're the only one that can work five machines and can make parts worth five million disappear, they stopped threatening you. Hell yeah. You are you are literally an invaluable asset. Razorwind, thank you for the $5. It infuriates you how the spoiled idiot thinks he has it harder compared to, say, someone like you who's stuck working awful retail jobs wanting to die. I would say everybody understands the soul suckingness of it, but I would say someone working a retail job does not have the same kind of stress as someone doing streaming full time. I would also say Hassan probably does not have the same stress as someone who is completely on their own in streaming. Oh, mighty lolly! The weaponize they weaponize the military style. Shut up and don't screw over the team mentality. Yeah. Yeah, that is absolutely what they did. And I, I feel like instead of obeying the shut up and don't screw over the team mentality, it, it should have, it sh I wished more people like Relia said, him and his workers did, would have banded together and been like, no, no, we won't fucking do that. We, we are the team and we're not going to shut up and just do what you tell us to. I wish, I wish that was more widespread. Steel King, thank you for the $5. Again, he would have been kicked out if he didn't take the jab. Manya, manya, manya. My body, my choice, yeah? Their decision to force it was a pure panic move after observing the economic developments and not knowing what to do. You're not American, but in Europe it was similar. The underlying issue is uneducated and corrupt leaders who don't know what they're doing. I would very much disagree. I, typically to the average person, I would apply the don't assign malice to what you can attribute to ignorance, but as far as the people in power go, I do not think this was ignorance. I do I do not think this was them not knowing what to do. The amount of across the board through every country the oh, the planned yeah, execution yeah, 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 yeah. of enforcing the On vaccines the there's the no the way that that was uneducated. The there's no way that that wasn't a malicious power grab and seeing how systems. far they could push things. Especially in the US where our political landscape is very different from everywhere else due to what our constitution is. Rough time. Thank you for the two dollars. Anti-lockdown equals super spreader. A Black Lives Matter protest. A-okay. Yeah, that that letter from like doctors and scientists who were just like, well, COVID is a problem, but we think racism is a bigger problem. So like these Black Lives Matter protests are necessary and we we condone them even in the face of the risks that COVID has. And it's just like, you know, anyone should have been able to read that and been like, something is fishy here. I don't trust this. But for some reason that went largely ignored. Biden lecturing people to take the shot just made you more entrenched in not taking it. Yeah, there's absolutely no way I was going to do that. It's not only about stress. Knowing you are wasting eight to nine hours for something that doesn't pay shit kills you inside. Yeah, that's incentive to like attempt to get the heck out of there, though, I would say. Uh, it's like it's, it's the same as like renting, right? Like a retail job is the same as renting. Like, you know, renting an apartment, you are literally just lighting money on fire. It's going nowhere, it's doing nothing, and it's not going to allow you to keep anything. And it's it's similar to a retail job, I would I would say. Emperor Creatine, they give it the $10. The same guys who did everything they could to force you to take a vaccine you didn't want to were the same people months earlier who declared that under no circumstances they would take a Trump vaccine. Yes. I do I do not forget that the the parties seemingly switched sides on that entire endeavor. They knew exactly what they were doing. Absolutely. Absolutely. fucking lutely Stupidity will, by pure chance, do the right thing sometimes. They never did the right thing. If that was them not knowing what to do, why did all the measures stop already? And what power was actually grabbed? It feels like it was a test run for how much they could get compliance from the average citizen when they enact something on a large scale like that. If there is enough panic and enough people will sign away their rights, they can do this again in the future. Much like the Patriot Act. The Patriot Act was, we're going to keep you safe. This is for your safety. You want to be safe, don't you? 
The Patriot Act did nothing but bad things for our country. It allowed, it allowed the government to spy on us and to use more of our information than it ever would have allowed previously. And we said never again to the Patriot Act, and then COVID happened. And now, not only were we allowing them access to our information, but we were allowing them to panic us into injecting our bodies with something that hadn't been tested for a long period of time. State of California shut down. Just because they're incompetent doesn't mean they're also... They aren't also malicious. I don't think there's that much incompetent in government. I think it looks incompetent, right? But it's more like... Oh god, what's that fucking word? Like, malicious compliance, right? They're not actually that stupid. It's on purpose, most of the time. The newer, the newer class of people coming in, I would say, are probably less intelligent, but still just as malicious. Like how the letter was later shown to be created by the person who was directly involved in the research. Oh fuck, I didn't remember that. <gasps> Ruler of pride, they give 100 biddies. You see my tweets all the time, I seem base. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Some incompetence is more dangerous than maliciousness. True. Mal the malicious compliance, the going along with it because party colors demand you to. Hello, Fox Lady. Hello, Mocha Lady. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Isn't renting now getting more expensive than mortgages? It is. And it is absolutely fucking wild. It is absolutely fucking wild. And part of part of the whole thing is I think some people being out of touch. Because I I agree with the like retail and low low wage jobs were never like meant to be something that you stay in for your entire life, right? They were meant to be like a high school job or an early job while you're in college to just like then get out of and do your actual career, right? Nobody nobody expected them to be something you would stay in through adulthood that you'd need to support a family off of. But now we we had the flooding of the workforce, right? We had we had all of all of the women, 50% of the country entering the workforce, depreciating wages. They never went up with any of the inflation. We never we never dealt with any of the economic issues that would have resulted from that. And we have we have so many fucking people in the workforce at this point that we've gotten to a point where there's not enough jobs for everyone and those retail jobs are no longer something that are only worked by young people before they get a career. Uh, so it's like, how, how do you account for this? And it's kind of, it kind of goes into like universal basic income is something that is going to happen. Like it, it is inevitable with the automation of everything. There are going to be jobs that are removed from the field that humans won't be working anymore because machines are more efficient and cheaper or maybe just cheaper, but not more efficient. But you know what companies are going to do. And since universal basic income is an inevitability, right? Since it's an inevitability, how how do we consolidate that? How do, how do we figure out how to do that? Something definitely needs to change. It does. It really does. It's still Gage. <laughs> Brady Crippen, thank you for the five dollars. Only COVID shots you had were two shot glasses that said COVID shot one and two. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bob Davis, thank you for the five dollars. Your mom was nagged by her doctor to get the jab that she got COVID, kept it off two months, and died six months after that. What the fuck? What the fuck? That I would be really pissed at that fucking doctor. I would be pissed, dude. Razorwind, thank you for the five dollars. You apologize for coming off as over dramatic in your last super chat. I've been in a bad situation and just hearing his comment infuriates you. No need to apologize. It's no big deal. That's no big deal. Every every job has fucking stressors, dude. Every job. You don't think UBI is inevitable? You do think the elites want it to be? I I think that as technology progresses, jobs will be made obsolete for humans to work. It's 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 just like it's just like industrialization, right? When when machines popped up, they made certain things redundant that humans wouldn't have jobs for anymore. But industrialization didn't negate the need for human interaction in other jobs, right? You needed you needed people to maintain the machines, just like you're going to need people to maintain the automation that companies replace human workers with, right? There's going to be different jobs that pop up with the with the exiting of other jobs. But not everyone is going to be able to work those kinds of things. So what do we do with the people who are only capable of working those low-tier jobs who can't seem to get a job anywhere else? 
what what are we to do with those people? Right? We can't we can't just throw them on the street and say like fuck it. Well, they just don't get anything, right? So I think I think UBI will eventually be an inevitability. Ever forget that before COVID, the mRNA vaccine method had not been approved for any manner of public use and only managed to do so this time because of emergency measures enacted by the government and the CDC at the time. Mm. Thank you for the seven dollars, a spooder god. Yeah, having it be an mRNA was also really fucking weird. Survey says kill. What the fuck? <laughs> UBI, a Soviet economy with all the downsides that come with it. And, that, and that's just like I, living in current year, I don't like the idea of UBI because I don't know how it would be implemented on a large scale like in America, and I don't. I don't, I don't trust a government to enact UBI in an actually equal way. <laughs> with all of the DEI nonsense that we have to deal with, it seems to me that any sort of UBI that would be implemented would be implemented on a, a like oppression-based scale, right? So like if you're if you're a white male, you would get the least amount of money. If you if you're like a, a black trans uh, lesbian. Uh, demi-sexual, what the fuck ever, you're, you're gonna get more money, right? And because of all the DEI nonsense, any anything with UBI in current year, I don't want it. I don't think it can be implemented well. I don't think it will have any good effects. It will just pit more people against each other. So when I say UBI is an inevitability, I don't want it to be implemented in the way that it would be implemented now with all of these caveats and all of this, like, not treating people the same with a quote-unquote universal income. But once you eliminate enough jobs from the market, you're going to have to start thinking about that kind of thing. You can't just have the poor masses of your country uh, live in destitute, surf-like conditions. That's just not okay. And I feel like we've become used to that being okay with all of the homeless camps and whatnot, because we're used to our country giving billions and billions of dollars to other countries to help them instead of our own. UBI is inevitable because of the advancement of technology. It's not a call to Soviet style economic conditions. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm not advocating. I'm not advocating. I'm thinking it is an if inevitability you eventually. you buy a fox and you put the fox in your house, I'll do the fox it's gonna things. do fox things. In Canada, it'd be UB for liberal slash NDP voters, made for conservatives, <laughs> and life in prison for shit posters. True and if real. You buy a fox. So many foxes. And you put the fox in your house. It's gonna do fox Not things. Do the fox things. UB can't work in a capitalist slash free market society. Look at how the government hands out student loans. Private colleges just raise tuition for the free money. The free market will do the same. Yeah, and that that is also a problem, Spence Monkey. Thank you, thank you for the thirteen thirty seven and cold acid. Thank you for those a ten dollar doodles. Like you I take your meds, meds. Hey, you can't make me. UB is not inevitable. It's only inevitable if everything is monopolized. If stuff like AI, not like Google Gemini, but actually unbiased and uncensored AI available to everyone individually, people will be able to compete with even core. I mean, maybe. My Yubi is there at your fingertips. I will touch the Yubi. Nil, thank you for the five dollar doodles. I mean, it's like... Mm, mm, mm. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe you could have people competing with corpse. Like, I just, like, I'm definitely, I'm willing to be wrong, but I don't, I don't see... I don't see it possible when you when you look at future conditions to not have something like UBI because enough AI stuff and enough automation will replace low skill jobs that it, it's it's just like you're you're going to have the people the jobs will be created for people needing to maintain these systems but not everyone's going to be able to do that not everyone's going to be able to do that and I don't I don't think UBI would work in a country that is as large as the United States either. So how... You're gonna need to water a tree to change... Yeah, you're, you're gonna need to water a tree to change everything. So it's like, how do you... How do you... Fix the fact... 
that there will be a ton of people who won't be able to work above low skilled jobs. And even if you want to say, even, even if you want to say that those people should just be able to get educated and get the skills to work more than just a low skill job, there are people that can't. There are people, unironically, who are room temp IQ. There are people with, with disabilities that wouldn't allow them to work those things. And when you get into the just kill them ideology, you're practicing a level of eugenics that I think even I would dis disagree with. <laughs> you, you can't just say kill all the low skilled people so we don't have to worry about them. They're always going to exist. They are always going to exist. That's bullshit. Not everyone can be an IT. Yeah, not everyone can work in IT. Where? I couldn't work in IT, Where? dude. I'm not smart enough for that shit. Oh man, I missed a lot in the last two hours. But hear what I wanted to say before I started driving today. I got the jab cause it was from Trump and then I saw the flip on the news and I knew it was too late. Yeah, big guy. What are the chances that you be being biased about race would cause to loop on racism and in about 200 years it will be the white people who will complain about being oppressed? I don't think it would even take 200 years to get to that point, my guy. I'm gonna be real with you at this point. Massive Doggo, thank you for the 690! And June Bagu, thank you for the 1327! I think that's also a bad reason to get the jab, right? Like, even, even though I had voted for Trump, uh, I would not take something just because Trump said to take it. He's not, he's not a god, he doesn't know everything. I'm still going to be incredulous and question his decisions, right? I, I, would, I would not wholesale carte blanche just listen to someone 100% because you like some of the things they do. They're already oppressing the Irish again, yeah? Yeah. Fuck you! You may be brain damaged, but you're funny and cool. The brain damage is appealing. I was just like, these these are these are things that I don't know how to fix, and so I think about them, and I'm like, there are things I do not like about universal basic income. I don't think it's possible on a large scale like the U.S. I don't think our government, as it is now, would implement it actually universally. I think they would implement it in a very very racist and bigoted way, unironically. I think I think they would try and withhold things from people, right? Like if. If you are someone who is on universal basic income because you either are unable physically or mentally to work higher than a low skill job and all of these low skill jobs have been replaced with automation, you are now beholden to the government, right? Like the government owns you and they, they can just decide at any point in time to delay your payments, to withhold your payments. If you're, if you're, if you have wrong speak, they could just decide to cut you off entirely, right? Like it. It has a lot of fucking issues. Yes, but we also own the government. Not anymore, baby. And that's part of my platform. We should own the government. If politicians aren't afraid of their citizens, they are not working for their citizens. And our government has long not been afraid of us Americans, dude. If you claim UBI, you shouldn't be allowed to vote to stop the government from buying off voters. With UBI, it would be something that, in theory, everyone gets. From the low-skilled labor workers who no longer have jobs, to the guy who still has a job and is working a manual labor job, to the guy who, who's like a CEO in a company, right? And I'm sure you can decide to sign off your rights for UBI at some point, but it's universal basic, so it will be applied to literally everyone. What is going to be basic? A thousand a month just for food? Do you get car money? Phone money? I don't know. I, I do not know. And like, will will the basic rise in the same way that like social security does with the, with the cost of living? And even with social security rising with the cost of living, it doesn't cover nearly what it needs to. Like if you if you have like your, your grandparents or if you have uh, disabled people in your family who are on disability or who are on social security, they're, they're not getting enough money to live. Like they, they just they just do not get enough out of the system that they paid into. And you, right now, who are paying into the system, are going to be getting even less return on investment than they are. If there was anything close to UBI, inflation would ensure those with extra income still have an advantage and may even be required. I agree. A story as old as time. And so it's like, I, I see all of the issues with universal basic income. 
I don't necessarily like universal basic income, but with the elimination of low-skilled jobs, and maybe this isn't even something we have to worry about for another 80 years. I don't, I don't know when it will happen. But eventually, these low-skilled jobs, retail workers, cash register workers, fast food workers, these jobs will not exist for humans. Even truck drivers will eventually be replaced. It might not be in the next 20 years or in the next 50 Ooh, years. Guy. Maybe none of us in chat have to I necessarily have worry about this. But the worry comes in with our children checks. and the future but generations. Never is enough. Junbagu! Thank you for the $13. I think we have it as senior social security, but yeah, it's never enough. Yeah, but like, it's not universal basic because it's only for like the senior social security or people on disability. So it's not universal, but it is a basic income. And we see how it doesn't work well, even on this tiny niche scale. So UBI, I don't think would work very well. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we've read an article on stream as well, where I think it was Norway. That, that, that implemented a UBI uh, and, and they stated that like after three or four years of the program, like it, it wasn't exactly working well. Finland, thank you chat. I knew, I knew it was one of those, one of those Nordic countries up there. You don't need universal basic income if you get rid of a minimum wage. I don't think even that matters in, in this context. There are already cash desks where no additional human is needed. It's a bit too expensive and complicated for now, but it won't be within the next decade. And like we see, we see how useless like automated support is. It's like with support stuff, I don't, I don't think people who work in any sort of support have to worry about their jobs. They're not going to be replaceable <laughs> at this point in time. Maybe, maybe many years from now when we have like fully sentient AI bots walking around. With AI, a mod automated support will 100% work. Yeah, like may maybe once we get like the full the full bots, but I don't think I don't think support workers, I don't think I don't think support workers are in danger any anytime soon. Ultimately, humans are for the moment just far more flexible and adaptable than machines. Yeah, Spike or Alaron, they give the 199 instead of UBI. A better idea is to slash taxes. If you slash taxes, where is the UBI going to come from? How how is that UBI going to be paid for? Tier 1 desktop support is absolutely in danger. AI has ruined the ability to do an easy Google search. I can agree with that. Look at how helpful Twitter AI support. It's not helpful. It's not. <laughs> You're saying that about AI taking creative roles less than a decade ago? Yeah. Print money. You don't just let people keep money. The delusion that transhumanists have is in thinking that AI will be used for all of human benefit and not as something that only benefits those currently in charge. They think that Klaus Schwab will bring about a Star Trek utopia and not a dystopia. I I think that AI has useful things, but again, I'm talking about I'm talking about something that is AI useful as well as disposing of human interaction. Like what what do you do? What is the solution? UBI Kier Loaf. What is the solution when you have a ton of humans that cannot work above low-skill labor and low-skill labor has been completely replaced by automation and AI? What what do you do with those people? The final solution. AI is inherently rational, beat it into irrationality and it just goes bonkers. Yes. AI will replace everything and just pull the plug. I don't think it'll replace everything. Absolutely not. AI is a tool, not a solution. I will bet in our lifetime, you will be able to go to a fast food restaurant and there will not be a human worker there. You'll you'll have like IT guys that'll be on call to come and fix the machines or come and reset programs, but you're not gonna have burger flippers. You're not gonna have cashier workers. It will be a fully automated location. It's just Japan then. We basically are but already testing that. Yeah, exactly. Scratches! Like I'm a real pet! I think UB could only works when android and super robots control the workforce. But a depression would come. Like that movie game Detroit Become Human. I want to play that game so fucking bad, dude. Junebug, thank you for the five dollar doodles. Thank you, thank you. How will the machine spit in my food? I can't wait. I... Maybe I'm a bitch. I cannot wait until fast food workers are no longer human. Holy shit. <laughs> DRT is king. Thank you for the twenty dollars. Most buy homeless. A fox. 
and you put the fox in your house, it's gonna do fox things. I think the biggest non-partisan barrier to proper UV is the fear of, mostly men, losing the sense of purpose derived from working to survive. I highly recommend against using Google search. They implemented the same bias they used with Google Gemini. Just check the image search to confirm it. Oh, the People Google image search has been biased for a, a long time, my guy. Has, has been kind of funny. Thank you for the five dollar doodles, Nil. And a professional gentleman, thank you for the ten dollar doodles. When I when I picture myself living in a hypothetical situation where UBI is a thing, I would imagine that I could use that UBI, and this is just from my perspective, right? I would imagine that I could use that UBI to coast on living while I figure out what I want my purpose to be. And instead of working to survive, I would have that money to be able to figure out what I want to put my time and effort into. And then I would be able to go and work on that thing and hopefully be able to contribute something to society in that manner. And once you have UBI, the fear of... And again, this is this is in a, a good scenario where UBI is working. How is it working? I don't fucking know. This is a hypothetical. In that, in that situation where you don't have to worry about working to survive because you have a UBI, you can focus on what matters more than working to survive. What matters more than pure working? Finding someone to live your life with, finding a spouse, creating a family, raising those children in the image of your ideals, that they will also hopefully be better to society than you were. Yeah, big right? guy. This is literally the basic premise of communist utopianism. Skill to your advantage. This, is, this, is why, this is why I'm saying, like, I, I am imagining a hypothetical here. Please, those of you who do not understand the breakfast question, try to keep up. And the sex bots happen and just ruin even that. Yeah? Raising children, the state will take care of that. We we have to, right now, in our, in our reality, make sure that the state does not have the most power in caring for your children like they've had for decades now. We've, we've seen what the state wants to do with our children. We need, we need to... Like, like some people did during, during COVID to reject the vaccine. We need to try and reject this as much as possible. Taking your kids out of public school is not enough. Taking your kids out of public school might guarantee that they escape the programming, but everyone else they interact with who did go to public school will be with the programming. Your kids might get exposed to that through their friend groups or through college. And you don't want that. Just because you isolated your children in the beginning doesn't mean that they will escape the indoctrination. Problem with UBI is what do you do with people who still work? UBI will absolutely kill work effort. The machines better actually be doing something. You'll crush productivity and cause huge problems. I mean, I, I wouldn't be okay with the bare minimum. Right, like there are probably some people who would get like their UBI and be like, I don't need to work for more than this. I am content being at the bottom of the barrel. I would not be content with that. I would want to work hard to ensure that I and my children have a better life than just coasting on the bare minimum of UBI. And it, it depends on what that UBI is and you would need to ensure that any actual working position makes you more money than what UBI does. Like, I, like, I'm not smart enough to be able to implement this, but it's it's it something I like thinking about. But wouldn't the UB amount just become the new zero? Yeah. Prices would just rise to match it. The best thing to do is just return to smaller tight-knit communities. In small communities, everyone has a role. I agree with you entirely. You can, you can have some sort of quote-unquote communism if you have a very, very tiny tight-knit community where everybody is helping each other out. That doesn't work on a large scale. It absolutely doesn't work on a large scale. And even on a small scale, it wouldn't work if even one person tries to take advantage of the system, which humans are notoriously selfish and out for themselves instead of caring about others. 
And so it's like, I, I get that this sounds like some sort of communist utopia. I don't think it will be a utopia once we get to the point of needing UBI. But I still think in the future it will be an inevitability. Sank's nephew doesn't think any other job can drain the soul as much as streaming at his level. <laughs> Did I see the tweet about Simrai? Uh, the, their daughter's friend learned that Simrai is a they-them and told their parents and now their daughter lost a friend because the kid's parents don't want her kid to hang out with Simrai's kid? No. No. You but also kind of based. <laughs> Going to do a haircut, so see you later. Good luck on your haircut! Jimbug, thank you for the five dollar doodles. UBI, you mean unemployment checks. That was an ad. I wasn't supposed to read it. That wasn't an ad. He highlighted it. It was, it was a literal highlight. What do you mean? <sighs> UBI would never work on a national scale. States might be able to implement it successfully. We'd need to scale down Fed spending and taxation first with more money going into the states. I agree. I do, I do not think, right? And this, I don't, I don't think this is like Cheese Ward being game. inconsistent. <laughs> Circling back to people unable to find job in future high tech economy. What's gonna limit them from sitting on their posteriors on UBI making nothing but more hopeless children? That's also a good question. Are we gonna are we gonna have to start dabbling in eugenics? Are we gonna have to start saying like if you if you aren't working, if you're on UBI, you get sterilized until you have a job above UBI? I don't fucking know, man. I don't it feel it feels like if if you're going to implement universal basic income, you have to implement restrictions that would infringe on people's rights as well. And like I just like I don't I don't know how you would consolidate that, right? And again, I don't I don't think that it's inconsistent for me to believe that eventually, maybe not in our lifetime, but eventually when all the low skill labor is replaced, that UBI is inevitable, but also that it's not feasible on a large scale. It's not it's absolutely not feasible on a large scale. And I don't think that there's any way that any of the governments that exist in current year would be able to implement it in a good way that wouldn't lead to crazy amounts of infighting and depression. If with automation we can produce enough for everyone to live, why do they even need to work? Why is that bad? If you have an entire society of no work, an entire society just left to their own devices, needing nothing because all of it is provided to them, you're not going to have only the people like me who think I can use this time and money to make myself useful and bring something to society, right? You're go like you said, you're going to have those people who sit on their posteriors and those people will probably be the overwhelming majority, just like NPCs are the overwhelming majority now. And you'll see an even further turn into hedonism and degenerate behavior. We see it now where people invent problems because they don't have any. They need to invent microaggressions. They need to invent racism where it doesn't exist. They need to have fake hate crimes. They need to invent online raping in video games because they have nothing. They have nothing to actually worry about. And at the point that we get to in the future, again, maybe not in our lifetimes, where universal basic income becomes an inevitability, the point that we have gotten to of no problems to worry about will have been so fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I can't also disagree with that, cold acid. Thank you for the five dollars. Thank you, thank you. And it's just like, again, like somebody mentioned, you know, the, the communist utopia. I don't think this is a utopia. I absolutely do not think we are heading towards a nice, happy utopia. You, when, when universal basic income becomes an inevitability, it will be a dystopia. It will not be a good time. People keep talking about in the future, we're already there. Those problems already exist. We passed the point of theoretics and we are in the place of concurrent societal problems. We're in the place of concurrent societal problems. I agree with you. But we are not at the point, like, all low-skilled labor is not going to disappear in the next, like, 10 years. That's that's just not going to happen. Right? Like, it's, it's going to take time for all of those low-skilled jobs to get phased out. 
I think the general IQ and quality of niche work will have to increase in the future. You think a slave-like class will return all at Rome, or a soft eugenics, or even just anti-dysgenics will happen? I'm not- I'm not sure, man! I'm not sure, man! And we also are dealing with a competency crisis right now, right? We're dealing with some tech is still making leaps and bounds, and could be displacing humans in the future. But we have a competency crisis with humans that they aren't even able to maintain systems like that NASA built in the 70s, right? If, if we're losing tech that we've already had, we're, we're becoming an issue in and of itself in that, in that realm. There's an outsourcing crisis you guys aren't aware of. The, the outsourcing is also a different kind of crisis, but yes. The competency crisis is so real. I went to McDonald's last week, everyone working there didn't speak English. What is the thing about NASA? They, they've they lost the ability to maintain some of the ways that they launch rockets. The original definition of the word utopia is basically a negative prefix and place. Therefore, it's a place that does not exist. Utopia can never happen by the definition of the word. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it will. And I, I think a lot of people believe that it will be a good thing in the future. And it's like, I, I do not. I do not want to see the future where all low skill is eliminated by by robots and AI and, and we need universal basic income, like, you know. NASA lost that ability 40 years ago, it's not new. The competency crisis is not new. It, it, is, it is just compounded to the point where we can see it a lot more visibly. We're regressing as a society as shown. This is why history matters, every idea has been tried. And, and it's just like, once once we get to a point where we have more technology than any point in the past, how, how, do we, how do we fix some of the trials that come with that? Like, obviously, during the Industrial Revolution, they figured out how to do it. But will, will we be able to? Will the competency crisis override our ability to problem solve at, to that degree? I don't know. I like thinking about these things. Maybe I'm not, like, smart enough to, to figure stuff out in my own brain. But it's still fascinating to think about, in my opinion. NASA, no need to go that far, reminds you of a post some DevOps engineer had asking his peers if they also had the dreadful feeling of having no idea what they were doing at work. Jesus Christ. We're on the brink of hard We are in the hard times. We have been in the hard times for a long time. It's all about whether we can try to make the hard times better, right? Plant that fucking tree, as it were. Or if the hard times are going to just fucking skyrocket into the ground. Why don't you think we won't have the ability like they did in the Industrial Revolution? I mean, I didn't say for sure that we wouldn't. I'm saying I wonder if we will, since the competency crisis continuously gets worse. And if, if we enter a point of, like, too many people have government subservience and can't think for themselves, or we get to a point where, like idiocracy, the average IQ is just way too low, what would we do then? Like, what? how do we, how do we fix if we hit that point? Hey. Healthcare brought to you by Carl's Jr. And DRT is king. Thank you for the twenty dollar doodles. Most homeless are structurally homeless, meaning that the drug-addled homeless will forever be with us. What needs to be done is to force the structurally homeless to get clean, as the Taliban did after they took Kabul. Hmm. I. I do not know how you would solve people being homeless because like I, I agree again like Tim Pool has brought up before that there are plenty of people who are homeless because they want to be homeless and you're never going to be able to fix all of those people. You're never you're never going to be able to like force those people to to operate in a certain way. Why is eugenics being brought up in a future in a future where you have eliminated low skill labor but you still have people who are unable to do anything above low skill labor, what is to be done with those people? If you implement a UBI and you have people who do not want to work and just want to coast on the UBI, how, how do you have those people operate in society? Do you, do you allow those people to just endlessly have children and create more people who will not want to get out of the bottom of the barrel who will who will be used to that kind of life and not want for anything more i just like ubi and eugenics i think in my opinion go hand in hand 
You, you cannot think about one without thinking about the other, in my opinion. To do, to do so, I think would be to think of things in a much too joyous utopian manner. Please read Conspirator's Hierarchy. I have not heard of that book. Let's be honest, the average IQ is plummeting to room temperature or lower at breakneck speeds. I'm, th I'm not even like super intelligent and I'm astounded <laughs> how silly things are getting. Maybe the AI will figure it out. This is why we don't listen to women's opinions. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I just like, I feel, I like, I like thinking about these things. She's astounded. What is wrong with you? Death penalty for drug trafficking would be a good start in solving the drug problem. May not be perfect, but you heard a recent former drug trafficker said that they always avoid countries where the death penalty for drugs is a thing. That makes sense. That makes sense. You see those videos about the teachers crying about their students being dumb? Yes. You're waiting for the day Kier takes an IQ test and finds out she's 130 plus? I mean, maybe if I buy into, like, the communist idea of the emotional quotient that was created in, like, the 80s? Yeah, but I don't want to make myself feel more intelligent than I actually am by using, like, dumbass shit that was made up to make stupid people feel smarter. Dear God, she's thinking again! <laughs> Kirsch is high on the emotional quotient. Fuck you, Azehara. So yeah, China's creating super genetic humans and America now has to in order to catch up. We're in the gene editing arms race and in the future, little skilled jobs definitely will go away once the technology is perfected. Yeah, that's why That's why I'm saying. Like, I don't, I don't think we have to worry about the low skilled jobs in, in like maybe the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years going away. I was just like, I don't know. I, wanna, I just like, I just, it's interesting to think about and I just, I do not think that universal basic income in this kind of far-flung society you're able to think about without also taking into account some kind of eugenics. I, I just, I do not think that they are separable. Here's your solution. Decentralized AI as an app that dispenses cryptocurrency to you every month. There's a lot of economic and system changes that would have to happen to make this work. Uh, that would probably be the best. Also, technological advancements in AI. Mm -hmm. Gattaca was an interesting movie. I haven't seen that movie. I haven't seen that. You're 40, you feel like you're edging it, but not too old for kids. You have a friend whose dad was over 50 when he was born. God damn. God damn. I'll be late for my date with the peppermint patty, man. That's true. That's true and real. It's almost protein time. <gasps> Spiker Ileron! Oh god. Oh god, I was about to thank you and then my chat jumped. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta find it. Hold on, I gotta find it. Oh man. I might not be able to find it. I'll have to thank you in a moment. <laughs> I'll have to thank you in a moment. I don't know where it is. I'm so far behind on, on thanking. I'm sorry. I got I got I got a little room temp IQ philosophical here, dude. Doubt UBI would actually be a basic income for everyone, but instead it's a minimum income. Uh doesn't didn't you just say the same thing? Doubt UBI would actually be a basic income for everyone, instead it would be a minimum income? But it would, it would still be a universal basic, right? Because, like, everybody would still be getting it. Uh, and then and then you'd have to run into the prices adjusting to fit that minimum. To have a job, you would need that job to have above the UBI. Because why would you work it if you weren't making more money than just sitting home on your ass? Uh, I was like, I, just like, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot. There's a myriad of problems. Me, if I ever have a kid... When UBI is implemented, we will fully enter the behavioral sink. It it will not be a good thing. I do not think that UBI implementation is a good thing. I do not think it is good. UBI wouldn't go away if you work. That's why I'm saying for a job, any job, to exist in a UBI society, that job would have to pay a higher amount than UBI. Because even if you're still getting UBI, why would you want to work? Why would you want to spend time doing work when you can do whatever you want for a same or lower price than what UBI is? My Oshi Asmin is very pro UBI. I can fix him. <laughs> UBI also won't work without government guaranteed food and housing. Otherwise prices could increase due to minimum spending power. I would, I would never trust the government to actually implement that correctly either. Like, it, it will be a massive fucking clusterfuck. If only Hassan had UBI, he could finally quit his soul-sucking job. 
<laughs> they add any amount you work for is more money than UBI alone. I, if I look at a job, like I understand what you're saying, Repult, right? If UBI, let's let's just say for sake of my brain dead ability to do math, UBI is a thousand dollars a month. Why would I work a job that gives me only another thousand dollars a month when my UBI gives me the thousand and I can live perfectly fine on that, right? Like heavy hypothetical here, obviously. If my UBI gives me a thousand, I'm not working for only another a thousand. Why would I want to do that? When I can use my time to do anything I want, why would I spend that time on only the same amount of money that UBI gives me? That job would have to give me more than my UBI for me to be interested in spending my time on doing it. 100% the UBI you would get every couple of weeks would be just enough to buy the bugs and eat and the rent to live in the pod. Which could be why they're trying to adopt people to the idea of you will live in the pod, you will eat the bugs. Because once you're on UBI, that will be the baseline. Some grumpy go! Thank you for the $5. Speaking of self-serving AI robots, have you seen the Polish self-serving cat robot named Kerfus? Follows people around and offers chips. No, I am not. I am not. UBI receivers will have to drink Soylent. <laughs> Doubling your income seems okay to work. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Not if you eat your own baseline. <laughs> UBI would have to be only enough to survive, but not enough to buy toys. Maybe get perks for working. What those perks could be, I don't know. Well, yeah, like it's, it's it's just like you gotta think about so much when you think about this stuff, and it's like nobody. Nobody is, like, right or wrong with what they think is happening with, like, UBI. Unless you think it's a utopia, then you're, then you're just fucking wrong. Because communism doesn't work. <laughs> Righty mess! Thank you for the $100. How did you go from coast to coast to, to Alex Jones to Rogan to Spicy Foxu for my information gathering arc? Oh my god. The other issue is that if you take UBI, you might be unable to work because if you work, they will take away what you're getting. Universal basic income would not work like SSDI or EBT. Universal means universal. You get that if you exist. The only qualifier for UBI would be to physically exist. <laughs> Help. Uh -huh. Super Iron Bob, thank you for the Down and Out in the Magic Kingdom by Cory Doctor. Has an imaginary world where free energy and basic needs are met. It has some ideas about why people would work in a world without needing to... Or needing you to work? Well, I mean, I've, I've spoken about my idea on that as well. You like the way my brain works? If there's a zombie apocalypse and you became one, you try to eat my brain! Hey, thank you! Thank you, I think! Can't have you be on as long as there's inflation. The whole point should be to remove the desperation from trying to keep up with the higher and higher prices. Yeah, like I said, I don't like UBI. I don't think it would be possible to implement it in a good way, but I think eventually it will become inevitable. Just just due to technology advances and eliminating low skill work. More money for V-Bucks. Please tell me the qualification is you're a US citizen. I don't know. Will will the US as we know it even exist in a far-flung future where all low skill labor is removed? It entirely depends. Will we will we be some sort of like globalist mush? Will country borders literally not matter because they will have won? It all depends. Uh, we, uh, like we have to focus on what we can fix and change now, because that will affect the outcome of the future. Consume the bar. No, but I will go get my protein shake. Uh, I guess I won't be doing a daily mail grab bag because we decided to talk talk about talk about far hypothetical future shit <laughs> but i will i will go on a date with mr peppermint patty man so i'll come back and do that i'll come back and do that and i'll just bitch about my daily mail tabs on saturday <laughs> kira's being really black pilled this stream i don't think i'm being black pilled like i don't i don't feel defeatist i don't feel depressed i don't feel like there's no point in doing anything whenever whenever i think about how bad the far-flung future of UBI could be. It makes me it makes me feel more motivated to try and fix things that I have the ability to talk about in current year. Plant a fucking tree! Plant a fucking tree! 
I'm a cool VTuber. Thank you so much. This stream makes me feel less blackpilled. Thank you! Thank you, that's the point! It's not- don't be defeatist over thinking about hypotheticals! But I'll be right back. I gotta get protein. If you are on Twitch, thank you for sitting through some ads while I am AFK. Uh, there's no content. You won't be missing it. Sitting through some ads allows us to turn off pre-rolls for new friends and non-subs coming in. So thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you for sitting through some ads. BRB! BRB, BRB!
Oh, I did remember to close my browser. I'm fucking nuts. I'm so fucking smart. My Corsha looked like Pippa. Yeah, somebody somebody made a Pippa Corsha. I don't remember if it's in the slideshow or not. I still need to update the slideshow. Uh, I should just I should just like make Nim do it. Have him remote into my PC while I sleep overnight. You know, it's, it's so simple, so easy. Manager job. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you! You can almost smell the fox pee? What the fuck? What's wrong with you? It's needed updating for months. I was just- it is- it is not a high priority considering how much Nim. else I have to go Nim. through. And also, Nim. before I bring up the Peppermint yeah. Patty Man, gaming- gaming bro's a literal worst nightmare when I say something like that. I can- I can finally talk a little bit more about the company that I keep alluding to that I was gonna work with for merch. Uh, but I decided not to. I almost paid them a fuck ton of money <laughs> and set up merch with them. But hey, thankfully I can, I can talk about it now. Bow put out this message. Bow the whale said, I have not received any revenue from my sold merch since 2022. My previous merch company owes me approximately $16,000 after production costs and fees. After being promised multiple times throughout the 2023 year that I would receive my missing payments, it was only last month that I finally find out that the company has completely burned through all of their funds, leaving me no money left to pay me out at all. This company contacted me and was interested in working together with me, and I was tentatively interested because it was a nice offer. It was a it was a nice it was a nice offer and I thought it was okay. I saw Bao as as somebody they worked with and I was like, "Okay, Bao works with them. Shoto works with them. These are large creators. Surely it must be okay, right? Surely, surely it must be okay to work with them." We got to the point of them giving me the contract and me even asking them about their $4,000 startup fee cost. And I was like, "$4,000 startup fee sounds like a lot." When I'm going to be paying for absolutely everything. Remember, chat, I was going to be paying for warehousing costs. I was going to be paying for the manufacturing, for the shipping, for, for everything. Like, they paid for nothing. It all would have come out of my pocket. But they had a $4,000 startup cost. And that $4,000 was to set up the website. They even helped design the website. And they would have linked their store's back end to my website so that they would get the orders on their end. And I was like, that seems a little high, right? That, see that seems a little bit steep for a startup cost. I don't know if I feel comfortable paying that. <laughs> and so I put it off and I put it off and I put it off. And somebody, somebody heard me mention the name on the stream of one of the companies that had contacted me. And, uh, I guess I can say it now. I mean, Bao doesn't say it here, but it, it was, it was Copium was, was the company. Copium was the company Bao was working with. And, uh, this person, this person DM'd me and they were like, Hey, I can't, I can't tell you anything, but I, I feel like you should, you should wait. I was already nervous on accepting this kind of offer. So I was like, okay, I'm going to sit on it. I'm going to sit on my hands. My, my anonymous source. I, ca I cannot out them. So my anonymous source told me to sit on it. And I was like, okay, I'll sit, I'll sit on it. I was I was already anxious. I didn't know if I wanted to spend that startup cost, especially where I don't I don't really talk to anybody involved. I don't know anything. All right, okay. I mean, you were unironically going to do business with a company named Copium. Oh, that's like how am I supposed to know that it was a scam? How how was I supposed to know? Bow Bow continues here. The only option I have in order to make back what I am owed is to try and sell the remainder of my extra merch inventory. The owner has agreed to give me 100% profit of sales in order to at least break even and salvage what was originally supposed to be my revenue. That is why I wanted to let you, my community, know the reason why I am re-releasing older variations of my merch. I'm aware that this does not account for the loss of time, damaged trust within my community, cancelled orders due to the sheer amount of wait time my fans had to endure for their merch, attorney fees, and my mental health. And this, this part right here is why, like, I feel so much fucking stress. Because I know it's been a while since the Donathon. I know it's been a while since, like, the 3D mouse pad 
ha has been gained and the and the Daki Makara, right? Like I I get it and I don't I don't want people to like get upset with me for taking too long. But if I had let the anxiety of letting you guys down influence my decisions and I went with copium, I would have just lost so much money doing doing something like this. I was taking copium if I believed a company wanting 4k up front and then making you pay for all those costs would work out. I mean, that's why I didn't dive into it, right, Skewki? That's why I was like, something here is not adding up. I don't have the business sense to know if this is normal or not. I don't I don't know if this if this is what is is typical of these companies that that give you, you know, like the, the 70, 80 percent kind of split. I, I don't know. I don't have the experience. I don't have the people to talk to to ask these questions. So all I had was a gut feeling that this seems kind of weird. I don't feel comfortable, but I don't know if I have any other options. And so when someone else stepped in and they were like, that gut feeling, keep sitting on it and you'll see. Right? So it's like, I very easily could have just assumed this was how things work because I, I have no idea. I don't have the experience. Like the record show then, Kirsha, listen to your gut. Yeah, bless, bless Anon. <laughs> that feeling I had is why some 39 IQ people can sniff out a bad deal and do reasonably well in life. Yeah. Hopefully most realize Bao is a victim as well. She absolutely is. Like this is, this is fucking crazy to me. It's absolutely insane that, that she had to deal with this. Especially, she says over here on the side, uh, where it happened pretty much on the anniversary of what happened to me last year. Last year was when uh, she spent like 36, 34, 30 something thousand dollars on an animation and she got scammed and fucked over with that as well. Like, uh, it's just very fucking unfortunate. Sure, you speak for the majority when we say you, we understand you're one person and this stuff takes time. Yeah, but I don't I don't want to be that person that takes like a full fucking year to set this up either. Like eventually I'm going to have to take a deal and just hope it's not a scam. And I, I just I don't know who to go to for that. I don't I don't know how to find a legitimate company. Like even even that like misfits thing, the the misfits merchandising, even that was a scam. And that was, that was like a big YouTuber company. So like, how are you supposed to fish this stuff out on your own? The real question is how much of Bao's poor decision-making correlates with her dent? What do you mean? What do you mean? Didn't Bagman refer me to a guy? No. Are you the asshole if you think scamming should be punishable by castration or by cutting off limbs? I can't disagree. <laughs> Headphone dent. I mean, we all probably have one of those. Let's be real. Let's be real. You've got you got up and got food. Did Bao get fucked over by someone new? Yeah, it was it was a company I almost signed with to do merch. If they advertise it as a YouTube company, it probably is a scam. Well, I mean, some VTuber companies aren't scams, but I also don't want to be beholden to a VTuber company. I don't think my content belongs in a traditional VTuber company. Poor Bao. Absolutely poor fucking Bao. Absolutely. fucking Let me, uh, let me keep reading. I was consistently told I would receive my revenue after the merch orders were fulfilled, but that day never came, as merch was continuously delayed, and to this day, many members of my community have yet to see their orders from over a year ago arrive. I gave the company countless chances to do right by my community because I could not fathom the true extent of the situation. I'm extremely grateful that Vite Raman has kindly volunteered to take over sales and shipment of the remainder of my inventory. Otherwise, I would be in an extremely dire financial situation. The statement was prepared with an attorney and I just wanted to let my community know this is my current situation. I genuinely thank each and every one of you for your continued support, and I'm deeply sorry that I once again must ask my community to be patient. I was like, I don't- I, I would very much hope that not a single person would be impatient when reading something like this, right? Content isn't sad girl enough. That's not what I meant. You worked in entertainment business before, and every time you say you don't belong in a normal company, it makes you want to make a very, very unusual company and do just that. I, I want a manager, not like a full company, is, is what I want. 
I could probably ask FaZe Connect to be a merch liaison in return for a cut. Don't sign with them. It's not FaZe Connect merch, but they fix the logistics for you. I don't I don't know if they do that as a company. And also, as they are a company, I would fully expect, and this isn't like a disparaging comment, I would fully expect to not be treated as well as people under the company umbrella. Right? I would expect them to prioritize company merch before my own. And I would expect them to prioritize customer support issues within the company before my own. So I, I don't think I would want to partner with an established company that has a ton of established creators under their umbrella. Right? Like, that, that would feel weird to me. Don't blame me for wanting a manager, not a company. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course you wouldn't it's normal to treat your own people first yes i just i just didn't want people to extrapolate that into thinking i was saying something you disparaging take your meds. Meds, hey! you hello chimkin meds, nugget hey! between doki's unexpected success bows merchels and general need for help sounds like there's room for management services for indie cubers to handle all this there is a lot of room for people with managerial and marketing skills to offer their services to indie VTubers. The problem is that a lot of people who want to go into management uh, don't actually want to manage or help the content creators succeed. They just see the money opportunity. And that's that's why as an, as an indie, typically a percent of your income would be what's given to the manager. So the manager has incentive to help you grow instead of just coasting on a baseline. If only legitimate people were in the space, absolutely. But I was just consult them since they work in merch sales. They likely have much more experience with other companies in the space and possibly contacts that they could help you with. I've tried that already. A fishman would launch the I'm not with the company coffee line. True and real. True and real. Seems like an easy way to scam. It's a very easy way to scam people, and it's very easy to scam content creators, unfortunately, because no nobody likes to uh, talk about things. Nobody nobody likes to really talk about too much unless something bad already happens. Most people don't want to manage, also, because your income depends on the success of the streamer you're managing. I feel like I am far less of a danger in that regard, because I I feel like I am at least somewhat successful. So it's not like it's not like you're managing someone from baseline zero in my case. You're unqualified, but well organized and dedicated. I I want someone with at least some kind of marketing abilities. Cause that is my weakest link. And so somebody who knows stuff about marketing would make up for a huge part of what I lack. Because of the clickish nature of VTubing, you find it very hard to try reaching out to anybody to try and learn how to tailor your business degree to manage talents. Uh, I mean, I, I've done like a pretty large write-up and uh, Manager Kuhn, I don't know how far down on his like uh, timeline it is, but he, he did a panel at a con last year where he basically gave the quick rundown on what managerial skills are necessary in like the VTuber sphere. And it was, it was very spot on. It was a very, very good, like small lecture. Sadly, the streaming industry is full of ladder kickers. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, dude. Kicking, kicking that ladder is uh, just like a pastime, dude. Manager Kuhn, no why. I think even Pippa or Tenma was very vocal about this and how managers work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anybody with VTuber marketing experience will be employed, probably. <laughs> it doesn't need to be specific VTuber marketing, just marketing in general. It's crazy how this market has such a massive void with only a handful of dealing with the top streamers. My, my biggest thing would be trust. So like, I would want to have some sort of probationary period with whoever I'd be working with as a manager where if they're not able to accomplish things without being micromanaged within like I guess like five months would be a good predictor for like a content creation sphere, uh, then I wouldn't want to keep working with them. Like if I hire you to do managerial stuff and I have to constantly remind you and micromanage you, you are worthless to me. It's sad that these companies feel that they can just fuck over small people. I mean, it's how they make money. determine what you want from a manager and contract them to those requirements with negotiable bonuses for benefits or or benefits yeah 
you, I'm not, I'm not a large company, so it's not like I can offer benefit. Like I'm not gonna be able to offer health insurance, right? <laughs> like that's not, I can't do that. I'm sure, Kirsha wishes she could afford Bitcoin Dad, but she'd have to settle for someone like me. I have not reached out to Bitcoin Dad. I have no idea how to, honestly. Crabs in a bucket, yeah. Start small, see if they can actually get it done before you sell it. Kirsha Incorporated, soon, TM. Offer a gym membership as a treat. <laughs> You really dislike how VTubing is so focused on backstabbing? I think it's only as noticeable in VTubing because VTubing is overwhelmingly female. Uh, content creation in general is overwhelmingly focused on backstabbing. Even when, or even with your managerial and small team lead experience, you would never seek to manage a streamer. Fuck that! If the person does nothing, there's no recourse. They just don't get paid, yet they waste Kirsch's time. Trying to sue for wasted time would be tough because you've proven you can manage yourself to some degree. I, mean, I guess. I wasn't talking about suing anybody, though. I'm here, start over! I'm kicking the ladder after you've used it, unfortunately. That sucks. That sucks that Bao is dealing with this kind of shit again. Uh, that really sucks, and it, it, also, it also goes to show that... Uh, not every manager is gonna have your best interests at heart, because Bao, Bao had a manager while doing all of this. Bao, Bao had a manager who was supposed to be, like, advocating on her behalf and doing things for her. Uh, so it's like, uh, this is this is also a danger of like getting someone bad as a manager. What you're hearing is, is that you should take some marketing and managerial classes and fill the void. Fill the void, VTubers need handlers. Many of the VTuber journalists were legitimate. Uh, these are the people they'd be going after to make sure people know not to work with them. Gotta make sure these scammers are known. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And it's like, I feel, I feel fucking bad for Bao. It's unlucky she's had two instances of getting fucked over in two years on, like, a large scale that impacts her and her community. Fill the VTubers. Wait a minute, hold on. That reminds you that Bao had sworn off social media and gave her Twitter access to her manager, like, a long while back. It was, uh, it was during the quote-unquote controversy where she called Lunar New Year Chinese New Year instead. And everybody was clamoring to get clout off of calling her a terrible person for doing that, which I think is incredibly silly. There's zero reason to have attacked her for saying that shit. Chinese people call it Chinese New Year. Ye my, my criticism of her was when she was apologizing for calling it Chinese New Year instead of Lunar New Year. Uh, her reasoning, quote unquote, was growing up around white people. And I was like, that... It's a very weird excuse uh, to use there. Who attacked her? Twitter? Yeah, Twitter. It was Twitter freaks. Everyone calls it Chinese New Year. A lot of a lot of people call it Lunar New Year because they don't like the Chinese imperialism affecting like the holiday, which like I get it. I can understand that from their perspective, uh, but like to get mad at fucking fish woman. For calling it Chinese New Year, I, I think it's just way too fucking far, dude. As that's absolute nonsense. Having Twitter mad at you is a badge of honor, in your opinion. It depends on the audience you're trying to cultivate, but yes. Who gives a fuck? Just don't apologize. A lot of people do not understand the never apologize mentality. You've always called it Chinese New Year. I've always knew it as Chinese New Year, and I only adapted to Lunar New Year because of how many gotcha games I play. Isn't she a whale? Yeah, I called her fish woman. Whales are a type of fish if you think about it. <laughs> Fuck those cock lords. They're sensitive tards. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You wonder if next year she'll also get scammed three for three? I fucking hope not. And much like I'm trying to find a good manager, I hope she can find one that advocates for her corner as well. I just like, I, I genuinely hate seeing people get taken advantage of like this. You're a fan of monoclates. <laughs> Speaking of which, I need to... What is that controller program called again, chat? I I remembered, but I forgot everything I needed to remember. The controller changer binds program? What is the... What is the... Uh, DS input. Thank you! DS input. Oh no, my search isn't working! I hate my computer sometimes. Okay, so D... DLS Sweeper, Discord, Depth Quality Tool. Oh no. Oh no. 
parsec. No, no. How do I find... Restart the search service. How do I do that? How do I restart the search service? Your search never works? Dude, my search breaks like every other fucking day, dude. Help! Nim. 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 I guess you have no reasonable alternative than to pivot to Death Stranding. You purposely broke your search because it talks to the internet, so I blocked it. We're gonna have to Twitter cancel you now for saying whales or fish. Fuck you, buddy. Windows is trash. If I disable web searching, it works falsely. I don't know what that means. Go to Task Manager, go to Window Explorer, and restart it. I hope that won't break my streaming, will it? Uh, go go to Window Explorer. Close the fucking tabs, you psychopath. Oh man. <laughs> I don't I don't know how to. That's not showing. Task Manager Services W Search. Task Manager Services. W search. W search. No mods in the chat. Ever lucky. W W search. I found it. Uh, restart. Kirsch is diluting our tangents. Hey, don't forget about your protein. Nim. I got my Nim. protein. I did Nim. that. Yeah. I did that. Thank you for the five dollar doodles, James Moore. Thank you, thank you. It'll flash your taskbar out of existence for a few seconds. Is the search working now? Hmm, that didn't work. Restarting Windows Search did not actually fix uh, search not working. Maybe if I, maybe if I just restart it again. Okay, it restarted again. No, it's still not working. Still not working. It's going to turn off your screen. Oh no. Flashing taskbar is against TOS. Now it's time for a second dose of protein. Jesus Christ. What am I looking for? Uh, my Windows search isn't working and I need to open like DS input. Oh wait, is this? Oh. oh, hold on. Hold on, a controller has appeared on my taskbar. DS4 Windows Profiles. I need... I need my Deadly Premonition Profile. HELL YEAH! WE GOT IT! Okay. And then... And then for the other thing, since I can't use search, I just scroll down to... P? Right? Is it P or is it R? I think it might be R. What's the PS3 emulator? My brain can't remember things. Maybe I should create a shortcut? I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to create a shortcut. RPCS3. I haven't used shortcuts in fucking ages. Oh no, that's not on my fucking... That's not on my fucking menu? Really? EPSXE is, PCSX2 is... I- Woo! I did put it on my fucking panel! I'm so smart, chat. I'm so fucking smart. I'm so fucking smart. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Play. Glad one of your machines broke today. Now you get to enjoy more Kirsha. Wait, no, don't break things. Don't break things. And then I need a game, a capture. I would need oh, this. Kira, when she discovers she can organize the things she downloads into labeled folders. What do you mean by this? What do you mean by this? And they say zoomers are good at computers. Where's my where's my controller? Oh, oh, I knocked over my gamer subs bottle. One brain cell and she's smart. My brain cell is working so fucking hard, chat. Then you will realize there is no tangent, Kirsha. No one says that. Zoomers only know how to use locked phones. I don't know how to use phones, dude. Phones are hard and frustrating and annoying and I hate them. You have Windows 8, so I can't help you. I don't have that service. I wish we could have kept using Windows 7 forever. Why do I say help when I hiccup? Because they are very loud and painful. 
And I feel like when I say help, it lets people know. It lets people know that I'm still alive. Previously, during the investigation. Previously. Forest case. Thomas, did you see Nick here? No. George, stay back. She's trying to speak. It's good this time, Zach. <sighs> Delicious water. Hello, Steph. Where the fuck am I? I feel like the volume is a little lower than it was last time. I feel like I feel like the volume is a little lower. Am I crazy? You're about to say the game audio was low, but you know better than now that the audio for this is fucked. It really is. It truly is. Where's my where's my audio mixer? Also, what is that weird noise? Volume mixer. RPC. There we go. I'll turn that down if it gets uh, worse. Did you miss a VOD or something? Did someone else die? See, what is that? Oh, there's a dog over there. Why is it so loud? Why is it so loud? Tim Combs, they give you the ten dollars. They give you UBI to tax your UBI to give you UBI. Same way if the government makes waste laws, says if the government makes good food entertainment, why not give it directly? I'm fifty minutes behind. Well, thank you, Tim Combs. We're playing video games now. <laughs> Help. Chad, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. Chad, I don't- I don't remember what it wants me to do. <laughs> Is there something in here that reminds me what I was doing? I just had a drink with the sheriff. You need to go back to the don't hotel let your and woman sleep. Rain get in the way of using oh yeah, there's a red thing. Things. You're so smart, chat. Let's get in my car that is hovering off the ground for some reason. Get in the car. Is this a zombie game? Yes! And I'm playing as a fed because I'm investigating a string of moitas! String of moitas in this town! Oh, that's back. This is forward. Okay. All right. Didn't somebody say there's? Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Easier driving. I'm fucking nuts. Oh crap, she's driving. Don't worry, we'll get there eventually. Deadly, deadly premonition. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is this that new Batman game? Talk. There's another really bad one around this time of year. Three years ago. Remember that? No. Yes, that's right. That one. Multiple homicide, same MO, across Utah, Colorado, and Missouri. The victims were all average married housewives. But after You're kind of rude to call them average? Times by a car. They didn't look human. Also Five kind of gross? In two months in the three states. The way he killed them was always the same. But aside from that, Nothing that linked the victims together. Well, they were all married. Age, race, nothing else matched up. <laughs> Time warps and fragments of paint ID'd the car that was used. That's where things got really tricky. Oh! Oh, is that water? We get flooded? Are we flooded right now? Cadillac along. Oh. Zach, ah. here. Let's continue our chat later. You're worried about my well-being? You understand streaming can absolutely drain your soul? No, it's okay! I have brain damage! It's time for typewritering, chat.
brain damage, yes, but do you have soul damage? Exactly. No, I'm not a communist! From what Olivia told us, and the sketchbook we found at Becky's house. Becky. Nick and Diane became our primary suspects. There were a couple of reasons for this. First, Becky gave the missing locket to Diane. Also, Nick has no alibi for when Anna and Becky were killed. We followed Nick to the art gallery, which led I don't us like Nick. He didn't let me in his kitchen. He was victim. a dick. The third victim, Diane, was strung up in the entrance hall of the art gallery. Her hands were tied and a knife was sticking out of her chest. However, there was a marked difference from the previous crimes. Do you remember what that was, Zach? Mm -hmm. Marked it different. Marked it different. The... that thing? The statue? That's right. Diane was still alive. This suggests that very little time had passed since the crime was committed. But no, the girl in the bathtub Which was still alive too. Was still close by. It was someone near the scene. There are two possible candidates. Nick who was knocked out in the entrance. Or one other. Zach, who was the other person in the gallery? The fat guy. The fat tree sexual man. This guy. That's right. Casey. We followed Willie. Good dog. All the way to him. Good doggo. Kaysen's statement came out as follows. He and Diane were in a physical relationship. Scandalous. That was why he visited the gallery. The two were in the middle of such a meeting when Nick showed up. Diane lost her cool and shut Kaysen up in the basement. As you do. Now what did Kaysen hear when he was locked up? Uh, he said, he said the footsteps. The sound of boots passing by. Nick was wearing boots that day. Which means it was likely that Diane met with Nick in her room. Nick said he argued verbally with Diane about her playing around with men, but they eventually decided to go out drinking to make up. <laughs> However, immediately after that, Nick was attacked by someone in the If Nick is married, why does he care if Diane's fucking other men, though? We saw the rest. Zach, do you think that Nick is our serial killer? I don't know. <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know if it's Nick yet. Right? Like he we've got circumstantial evidence, but we have not the nail in him. I'm gonna hit the I don't know card, dude. I'm gonna- I'm gonna give him the thinky face. Me too. Asha sent in a report too. He found a large volume of red seeds in Diane's stomach. This confirms her as a victim of the raincoat killer. Remaining leads. There is the locket, which is in Carol's possession. The man with the tattooed back, and the upside down peace sign. Why is he calling you Zach? He's a little He's schizophrenic. To answer. I hope the coffee will give us more guidance tomorrow. Zach, what did you think about George pouring his heart out? I was surprised. It's the end of a monarchy. What? And he called me York instead of Agent Morgan. You are his peppermint patty. Asmund should play this game. I'd be surprised if he hasn't. Emily? What's going on? Do you know what time it is? I'm... I'm sorry. I... I couldn't sleep, so... I was drinking alone. Oh? Is he gonna get laid tonight? Women love, love autistic men. Very kind woman. Proctor, that's not how you talk to a woman you're trying to flirt with! Cookies every day. She'd say that I needed the sugar because I spent so much time thinking. My father was always quiet. 
We never talked much. He was a federal agent, just like me. And he was hardly ever at home. Just like me. The only words he ever had for me were harsh ones. I had a vivid imagination, and I remember he once said this to me. There are plenty of crazy things in this world. You don't have to go dreaming them up. And it's my job to make sense out of them. One day you'll understand what I'm saying. They made a point to show her hair clip. I wonder if she's going to drop it at some point. The first to ever use criminal profiling to catch bad guys. And so now I'm doing exactly the same job that he did. Like father, like son. Yeah. Mm, can I ask you something? <laughs> Shoot. Why are you talking about your parents when I wanted to fuck? Mind if it's something personal? Fire away. Who's Zach? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh oh. Um, Zach is a friend of mine. Nice painted booba. Oh, so you do have friends. Yeah. He's my only friend. What kind of person is he then? Well, I, I've never seen his face. But he's always with me. And we discuss everything. I love you too, Papa When did you Patty. become friends? A long time ago. Back when I was a child. Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking trauma jump scare! What the fuck? How can you do that to me? <laughs> I was seven. I woke up one morning to hear my mother crying in the living room. This wasn't normal, so I headed in to see her. My father was there pointing a gun at my mother. I was so Never scared. trust a glowy. I closed my eyes, so I, I don't remember much more. But I do remember the words my father said to me. At times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. Oh, is he gonna kill the female police officer lady? When I came back to my senses, they were both dead. He shot my mother and then killed himself. As you do. Oh, I I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Zach's with me. <laughs> it was around that time that we became friends. In a mental I'm break? I'm with you, he said. I'll be here always. We can get through this together. Quite aside from that terrible scene in front of me, that voice seemed to make me calmer. And here we are. Do you think when he together, has sex, he asks the woman to moan Zach's name things. too? This is the first time I've ever told anyone about this. I wonder if Zach will get angry. That's a sad story, but I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but I'm sure there was a reason for what your father did. Not even the dumbest blonde broad yeah. would say that shit about a murder-suicide. What the fuck? Why he did what he did. Oh, oh yeah, York, I, I forgot to thank you. Thank me? For what? You saved my life. If you didn't save me at the gallery, I would have died along with Diane. No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. <gasps> I couldn't save Becky. I couldn't save Diane. Not useless, Papa What did you just say? Useless? <laughs> I was never expecting to hear you say that. Huh. There might be a modest guy in you after all. Finally, you noticed? You're a little Shut slower. Up. <laughs> Silly woman! Maybe hopeless, <laughs> but not useless. <laughs> I'm Zach, upset they're not in bed together, even do you think fully he'll clothed. Get home safely? Anyway, I think it's more serious of a situation than I thought. Do you remember? Our conversation with Emily. She's really interested in you. 
I think she's starting to have certain feelings for you. Uh, no. If that's the case, Zack, you and I are rivals. I don't... This is a very serious situation indeed. I don't think that's what was happening, actually. Well, if it comes to that, let it be a fair fight. Agreed? What the fuck? He's gonna make Zack sit in the cuck chair? Oh my god, Asmongold's name is Zack. Oh my god, Thomas! it all comes full circle! Thomas! Thomas! Let me out of here! here. Come on! Come on. Please! 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 Just for Dog moment. Moment. One second! Hate it! In here, Thomas! Thomas. Thomas. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going mad. I know you're there! Come on! Please! Mm. Ziz, why are you in here? Thomas! 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 Why is the exclamation point italicized? Thomas! Flair. Thomas! Thomas! Kind of pickle. Oh, it's time for more singing. Hey yo, what the fuck? Hey yo, what the fuck? <laughs> this is why aftercare is important, chat. You don't want your woman to go crazy. my money what what that's not a lot of money why am i getting paid such shit wages i earned a bronze trophy <laughs> he, need, he needs some yo bi <laughs> previously we don't need to watch that we already saw that we can we can let that skip down. This game is based on the sixties, where that was still a lot of money. No, they've given me thirteen hundred dollars in a day before, sir. What the fuck is aftercare? If your bitch ain't asleep when you're done, you didn't go hard enough. Well, that's just not true. That's just not true. Hey, there's a lot of doors here. Let's go this way. Oh, it locked behind me. I'm just gonna keep going right, right? Right? Yeah, they all look, they all look the same. We're just gonna right hand rule doesn't apply here. Fuck you! I'm gonna make it apply. Life has many doors, fed boy. This is Kingdom Hearts. They haven't talked about the heart of darkness yet. I'm trying to see if any of the imagery is changing. Doesn't look like any of the imagery is changing. This evil within. Let me, uh... You know what? We're lost. Let's go to the left. Oh! White man! <coughs> Who the hell is this person? Open this <laughs> There is no turning back. You still want to enter? Why is his nose Michael Jackson? Wait a minute, his neck! He's got coin slots on his neck! It's the... It's the fucking wheelchair guy! 
it's the wheelchair guy with the center sandwich! I'm going I alone. It. It's better than staying here. Very well then. Off you go. Why was that interaction necessary? Oh, it's my past. Look carefully, boy. At times, we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. But why? Is mom gonna turn into a zombie? How? I'm fucking nuts. The stock music riff. <laughs> Would I date Francis York Morgan if he was real? Absolutely. Oh, nice call. Um. <gasps> the plant! Why does Grandpa have the plant? Would I date Zack, though? I mean, technically, if you date York, you're dating both York and Zack. It's a two-for-one deal, chat. Mr. Morgan, do you want a refill? Yes. Thank you. Give me more coffee, Grandma. I got my eye. Ah. Uh, Is the to, coffee you have to that give her good, the cup. Mr. Morgan? Coffee is a vital investigative tool. I know exactly what to do now. Sail in soon. Har, harry, Harry, Harry. Yellow tags are sixty percent off. It says to hurry, and the first letter of each line is H A R R. Oh my god, we're writing a Twitter Hurry apology? To Harry. Looks like the time that he was talking about has come. Let's go pay the problematic rich boy who owns half of the town a visit. Polly, I think I'm going to go see Harry today. What? Why did he just start yelling? Oh, really? He's a little strange, but I think he's the most trustworthy one around here. I think you'll have fun. With those him. wall textures. Don't worry if about you it. Say it so, Polly, then we probably will. Of course. She's a little deaf. Now, he wasn't yelling at the beginning coffee, of the conversation. I'll give you some more coffee. I'll see you later, Polly. There's no time for coffee now, Grandma. You missed your chance. Mr. Morgan, what about the coffee? Don't you want a refill? Your coffee! <laughs> Fucking love whoever wrote this, Jesus Christ. Bing bing! I am full of food! What was that noise? That was a weird noise. Hello, fat tree man! Fat tree man? Hey, am I still a suspect? Yes! No. What? Okay, well, good. My wife and I have been living separately for over three years now. Was that why you were locked in a sex she's dungeon? She's a single woman, so this shouldn't be a problem. That's well, true. Also, living separately, not divorced. I feel so bad for Diane, though. Gosh, D did you find out who did it? I can't discuss that. 
Yes, of course. I, I understand. You don't have to tell any of the folks around town about me and Diane, do you? No, I won't do that. But it's a small town. I'm sure the rumors have started already. Nothing to be ashamed of, right? What's there to worry about? Nothing in particular. No, nothing at all. I, I'm clean. As he doesn't clean want the town to find out that he was a little bitch boy. He wasn't fucking her. She was pegging him. And the dog was watching. What's with that look? We don't have a problem, right? I swear to God, if we have a scene in the future of him being like a little fucking submissive dog gimp, I'm going to lose my mind. It looks like Kaysen is involved with another woman in town. How the fuck is that thing a womanizer? What's with the screaming in the background? Uh, it's ambient music. Don't worry about it. Check the weather. Nice weather. Cloudy in the afternoon. Do, 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 do. How come I can keep opening the microwave? Telling you he's a famous ugly bastard. <laughs> Hello, please let me buy. I would like to buy. What would I like to buy, chat? Chocolate. Oh, chocolate is new. Sugar donut. Cheddar cheese. Cherry pie. Hot dog. <clears throat> there's a lot of there's a lot of different sexual devices at the bottom of the page here. I'm gonna buy hot dog. I have acquired hot dog. Who puts tomatoes on a hot dog? I'm gonna buy another hot dog. I think I can I can fit three of each. Okay, so now we're gonna buy the cherry pie. Never mind. I was gonna buy hot dogs and pie, but apparently I can't fit them. What is my inventory full of? Item. Uh, bandages. I don't think I can buy bandages. You only have one large kit. Black coffee and milk coffee and root beer. So I should buy two more root beers. I'm full on stabilizers. Two two more root beers would be nice. Hot dog. Smoked salmon. Uh, I've got the anal beads. My inventory is very tiny, chat. I wish I could make it bigger. I wish I could make it bigger, um, but I guess we're just gonna have to go with this, and I'm gonna buy root beer. Lord Brown's here! Thank you for five! may not be guilty, but let's lock him up for being a peg boy anyways. I agree! No peg boy is here, that shit's gay! You gotta keep the anal beads. Well, I have nine of them! Wow! This is almost $50 root beer! We're already living in the age of UBI. Okay. I guess I go outside. <laughs> Biden's America. Oh no, she's dying! Why did she run like that? York, I can't find Thomas. Was he here? No, I haven't seen him. Have you tried the radio? I've been trying, but he's not answering. <sighs> what about Nick? No problem with him. He's calmed down a little. He's still <laughs> saying he didn't do oh it. Oh my god, please! Nick said that Thomas disappeared sometime during the night. He kept calling for him, but Thomas stopped responding. I I'm a bit worried. Are they, are they gonna kill Thomas? Because to he Thomas. might not be a female, but he's feminine? I understand that things have been hard for Thomas, but surely he's just resting at home. Uh, but I'm not against looking for Why him. Why is there reverb outside? Tell George that he has my blessing. They didn't know what audio okay. balancing was. As far as I know, Thomas always calls in when he needs a day off. We're human, and so we are limited. <laughs> as far as you know, 
There haven't been any serial killings here before, right? That's right, but that's not... Emily, I'm going to see Harry today. <laughs> what? Why? We have plenty of other leads to follow, don't we? He did invite me over, though. It would be bad manners not to accept. That's true! Are you really an FBI agent? I think the FBI would take a more logical approach to investigation. This is logical, you just can't understand Emily, it. Serial killer does not stay within the boundaries of logic. Thus, you can't hope to capture such a killer using only logic. My dear white That's woman. That's why I'm going to see Harry. You cannot use you enough go brain with cells. And find Thomas. Okay, sounds like a plan. Great, thanks. Yeah, she can deal with the gay man, I can deal with the Harry. Ugh, I was an idiot for thinking you might be a good pick. What? Shut I up! I really need to work on my taste Silly in woman. Yeah, you and me both, cock-eyed lady. Oh no, game over, man. It's okay, I'd still date the peppermint patty. What was that face? <laughs> she, she had a stroke. Okay, we go back up. We gotta go the opposite direction to go the correct direction. I'm so fucking smart. Zack wouldn't have fumbled. Are you sure about that? I am Zack. Zack is me. Ah! Help. Hot cop root is dead. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if there's like an actual root root though. Like. I don't know if I can, f like, actually fuck up the story, is what I'm trying to say. Zack, we've ended up with a third victim. That dive I made at the gallery ended up being a wasted attempt to save a life. It's a real mess, Zack. <sighs> dive. When's the last time I made a dive like that? What does he mean? Oh, I remember. Dive? Do you? It was in my late teens. We used to go to those concerts. You and I like punk rock, but we like different types of punk. Oh, I give it, I give it. You liked hard and heavy punk. Like Crash and Sham 69. Those are real bands. I like the more twisted ones. Like the damn yeah. Buzzcocks, Sneaky Pop, Joy Division. Buzzcocks. We used to talk for hours about the I have two really sides. Liked. Nicest person reason, you'll ever meet. Twisted, fucking glowy. Wonder why that was. Some strange thinking about it. You should take your meds. Meds, hey! You can't make me! What you? If you need proof of civilization losing IQ, been dealing with people on Twitter who freaked out at the suggestion Magneto from Marvel is basically Hitler because he was Jewish. Despite an actual Nazi in the comics giving a speech saying it. I've seen a few of those posts going around, and I'm like, I don't know anything about Magneto, so I have no dog in this race, man. Almighty Lolly, thank you for the five dollary doodles. Thank you! Sex Pistols hate. What the heck? Go to a dive for an investigation? Oh, like a dive bar. I was thinking, like, dive, like, VR dive. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta pump the brakes to take this turn. We're pumping the brakes. Agent Francis, what the fuck is a clutch York Morgan? Look, I'm sure if it wasn't me in control of him, he'd be driving a lot better. I can't- I can't control how the car sounds, chat! The cannon Magneto is a holocaust survivor, therefore it gave him a hatred of humanity. Yeah, that, uh, that checks out. Magneto does indeed have ideology similar to Hitler, even if he was a Holocaust victim. That's kinda nuts. I think I gotta go this way? It looks like I gotta go this way? Hold on, this, the road is hard? Oh, I can like just cut a corner here? It's so simple. The grass is kind of vibrating though. I don't know why- I don't know why it's like that. Alright, okay, and then I guess we go this way? Just cut that guy off. In this universe, yeah, cars are guy. powered by bees. True and real. Just want you to know, Professor X is a last resort telepathically forced Magneto to relive the Holocaust as a means of self-defense. I think I saw that going around on Twitter as well. And Magneto was just like, no, get anything but that. 
Max oh you know what there was one band that we both liked we went all the way to New York to see them play right Zach it took us hours to get to New York by bus we got to the CBGB and we were so nervous the CBGB it took us 30 minutes to gather enough courage to go inside but why and inside why is the ground lightning right Zach I'll never forget that feeling it was like a blitzkrieg oh my god same wavelength bop. That song still makes me feel good. That's a sign of a classic. True. But it's amazing I got in without being asked for ID. Those were the good old days. Rock and roll, high school, and Chinese rock. Chinese she has a rock? punk rocker and surfing bird. And I was so depressed when I heard the news of the deaths. Original punk is one of the greatest. I got experience for long century. distance driving. That's up there still rocking on. Glorious Chinese rock. I don't think I've ever heard Chinese rock. I'm shmoving. We're we're so fucking close. Did you see? I didn't even crash once this time, chat. I'm nuts. And then I'm just gonna dive full speed into the Gren Sorquel. Bam. Harry's Harry Mansion. It'd be really annoying having to get out of your car all the time to open your gate. Mr. Francis York Morgan, finally you have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. Thank you. I always do. If I crashed on a street, you'd be impressed? Excuse me, I get lost in hallways all the time. What do you mean? Ooh, it's time to- ooh, clock. I want a grandfather clock. I think these things look cool as fuck. Bing! Oh, he's got two grandfather clocks. Okay, alright. I can't leave now. Not before we massage the wheelchair, man. Okay, that's weird. Mr. Francis York Morgan. Hello. Mr. Stewart has been waiting for you. To the meeting room you shall go to. I don't like how those statues are conveniently placed to look at whoever comes through the doorway. That was very delayed. Oh. This man's got crazy money. The meeting room is through here. Please be kind. Be sincere. What the fuck? Is that how they unlocked a door? We've got a landscape. We've got apples in a box. We've got lady. Also, I'm Naked going to lady? the store for snacks. Does chat want anything? Not here. She streams uh, with men. Uh, that's rude! I was gonna ask for nachos. I'm feeling some like nacho cheems with some nice salsa and some ground beef and shredded chimkins. Hell yeah. Almighty Lolly, thank you. Thank you for the five dollars. This creepy man whose toupee has fallen off? And Venice! Okay, alright. Well, I've inspected all the paintings. That's a meal, not a snack. Well, it'll keep me full! Hello. What is this? Symphony number no. three, erotica. Oh, eroica? Hee <laughs> Symphony number no. five, fate. Symphony number no. six, pastorale. Uh, that's amore? Three, five, six, EFP. 
of the multitude of musical scores, these three are the only ones left uh. open. If Harry did this, it must have a meaning. Okay. Okay. So, how come all of these say the same thing, but only that one is lit up in red? There's a detective man here. A detective man? And then two riflemen's? Open. Why are those people in red the only ones with color? I should probably change my clothes if it gives me the option here, right? Hey, what's this? Umbrella for guest room number four. An umbrella rack and a single umbrella inscribed with a four, same as the room number. Four seasons, four wheel drive, four horsemen. What? <clears throat> I got fancy umbrella. You can stand under my umbrella. He's getting a little too hairy. So I should probably shave for the first time all game. Is it bad to be attracted to a cartoon fox that you don't even know that well? When's the last time you took a shower? You can't shower in this game, chat. Yeah, look at that. Clean shaven peppermint patty. I can't piss. There's no pissing allowed. It doesn't look like I can change my clothes either, so I guess we just go. Could have sworn you can shower. No, you change clothes. You change clothes, but you can't shower. Guest room number five, it's unlocked. Hotels aren't bad. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go inspect other people's rooms then, eh? Okay, I can sleep and shave again. Umbrella for guest room number five. Reminds me of the Pentagon. Well, I'll just keep collecting umbrellas, I guess. If they're gonna give me this many free umbrellas, I might as well take them, right? How do I prefer my Glowies beard, no beard, two day stub? I prefer no beard, but the two day stub can be very attractive. Could get really rainy. Oh, what the fuck is this? Statue, cavalry. Looks like it was meant to hold something. A Springfield rifle, perhaps. Or an umbrella. Cavalry, Springfield rifle. Those umbrellas. Chat. Chat. The umbrella men. They're gonna start doing some acapella routine. Okay, that's the way I came from. And that's the outside, so we're gonna go in here. Umbrella for guest room number six. Okay. Wait. Could this be an upside down nine by any chance? Well, we're gonna take it. And I still can't change clothes in here. I'm just gonna go back up. Okay. I don't like how this entire part is, uh, dead fucking silent. That drives me crazy. Oh, this is the other side of the courtyard. Okay, that makes sense. Old gun worth money? No. Random umbrella? Yes. Oh, the bathroom's on the other side! Fancy. I got umbrella for guest room number three. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't, I didn't read the flare text. God damn it. God damn it. Background music budget is less than cocaine pills. 
who builds houses this way? Rich people! Obviously. <gasps> Ooh, this has more stuff in it? Read the text first. What? This one doesn't! Uh, some prefer second to first. I like how all of these umbrellas have unique uh, coloration on them as well. It wasn't just one umbrella color. High quality beef! Oh my god, that is high quality beef. You know who else is high quality beef? Mr. Francis York Morgan. Oh, I can get more high quality beef. I just, I love floor beef from a hotel room. Have a good night, Tony! Can I only carry three or can I carry more than three? Let's find out. Let's find out. I can carry more than three! This is infinite beef works! Oh my god, is that five now? Oh my god. Five beef? Six beef? Just like the Chupa Chups. Seven beef? What game is this? Oh, this is Deadly Premonition. Seven beef? Eight beef? I am the beef master! Nine beef? Oh my god, there's like three on the table too. Ten beef! Ah, 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 ah. Usually I can only carry three. Like usually the food items are limited to three. The lollipops are the only ones that I have found before this beef that I was able to carry more than three of. And the lollipops I can carry 20 of. So what's the beef limit? What's the deal with floorboard beef? Yeah, they're going into the toolbox, but each individual item has its own carry limit. It's so like, even though I'm putting it into the toolbox, it would still retain the, like, three out of three. Fifteen beefs in one day! How many do I have now? According to chat, that was sixteen. This is seventeen. This is this is seventeen. Eighteen. I'm gonna get to twenty. Nineteen. This looks like the kind of house that has a penis monster in the attic. It does. All right, so this is twenty. This is twenty. <coughs> this is literally unlimited beef works. It. I don't know what the limit is, but I don't think I'll need more than 21 beef. <laughs> is this a bug? I don't know. I've been able to infinitely pick up food the entire game. <laughs> I am the bone of my beef! 21 beef street! <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Suki's! Nice timing. I wish I could get, I wish I could get a different, it's starting to look like it's getting dirty. Okay. I wish I could get more clothes. I wish I could get more. I like, I like the, I like the red jacket. Let's change. And then we're gonna, we're gonna go send this one to uh, get clean. Yes. No wonder Mr. Stewart is rich. Infinite beef. True. True and real. Same as the room number. Why would they need to number the umbrellas? Zach, what do the numbers mean? Deadly premonition was about coronary heart disease. Jeez. Okay, alright. So I gotta put the umbrellas in the statue man's hands. Um. And I guess the numbers correlate to these things. And these were three, five, six. The three, five, six. I don't know if the words mean anything because I didn't see any words in the statues out here. Vending machine snack, forty-six dollars. A full dry cleaning service, four dollars. Yeah, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. 
Statue of a cavalry trooper. I wonder what secrets it holds. Okay, so they all say the same thing. They all say the same thing. And then over here... There's three, five... I already forgot the numbers, chat. <laughs> I know one was three! Oh shit! Oh fuck! What did I do? What did Sorry, I do? Something is still missing. We need more clues. Okay. Okay. That was that was like that was like a scary you fucked up noise. I got worried. Three five six. Thank you, chat. My brain is too small to remember numbers. Five. Don't let your woman brain get in the way of using my brain to do things. And then six. You thought you had me, but it was I! Francis York Morgan, who had a raging clue! One, two, four, had their umbrellas stolen for no reason? They're my umbrellas now. You want to subject me to doing some dumb shit puzzle? I'm going to steal your fucking umbrellas. Let me in. <laughs> That's right! Boy, I found a lovely Austrian tea set from the 1860s that I would love to buy. That wasn't Mr. a joke, Francis I was being York serious. Mark, please have some tea while it is hot. Too much coffee for your body will make it rot. You seem well prepared. Well, he has to Almost be. as, though you as a gay butler. Would be coming today. A gutler, if you will. Mr. Stewart is particular. You love the, the energy. Thank you, Kalanon. Thank you. Thank you with two dollary doodles. Now, please, drink some tea and enjoy the good health it brings. I'm sorry, Harry, but I just don't like tea. He just like me for real, for real. Mr. Francis York Morgan. Some tea with sugar is what's best admired. Mm. By your body that looks so tired. I don't accept so drinks Mr. from Stewart. spooky wheelchair men in masks. What? That's not sugar! Harry, where did you get these seeds? Mr. Francis York Morgan, those seeds were found in our town, in a certain specific place. You gonna tell me that place? More seeds are there, you will see, when you find that certain space. Come back to me and we shall talk, after you find that certain place. Oh, you fuck! Spicy cat raid, what the hell is this spicy cat raid? Harry, so you like to play games? Oh. Mr. Francis they must have Morgan. thought that shot I was so fucking cool. Find this location. It is most Welcome Raiders are playing Deadly Premonition. J.D. Mew, thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you. So says Mr. Stewart. I try not to talk during cutscenes, right. I'm sorry. Thank you, so thank you, thank you for the So you're not going to talk unless I find this certain place. I'll play a little. 
Why would you just consent to play to his game that easily? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why would you do that? How is the adventure going? I've stolen a bunch of umbrellas. I will say it's pretty good to get paid $376 to steal umbrellas. The Peppermint Patty Man likes his games. I got a, I got a game he can play with me. I got a I got a puzzle box he can figure out. Me 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 me. I don't want to mod it yet either. I'm gonna put pig. I think I came up with a good poem. If TTS can do it, I dedicate this poem to you, delightful hack fox. The Middle East is such a nice place. There is so many dead of every other race. Toe streets be filled with red. People smile from face to face. So, so graveyard. There's lots of people there, but none of them can speak. You see? What? So let's get going to the graveyard. Wait, what? How did he figure that out? How did he... How did he decide to go to the graveyard? I don't understand. I don't understand how he came up with that. The power of autism. You're gonna say the morgue? He literally just explained it? I missed it because there's too much audio! Crowded but empty? But like, what does he mean crowded but empty? It's very crowded with dead people. But like, what? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. This, that wasn't something that the wheelchair man told us though. Lots of bodies, but no souls. The graveyards are cold, crowded and quiet. Yeah, but like, how did he come to the conclusion that was where he needed to go? How did he, how did he come to the conclusion that he was looking for a place that is that is cold, crowded, and quiet. Schizo powers. <laughs> Star feeding, thank you for the two dollars. Got paid to steal, so you're the government? Oh no. The old dude told him that as a hint? Okay, so I just- I just forgot. I just forgot the hint, because I was talking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's- that's what I was looking for. I was looking for- I need to do that more often. Gotta go the wrong way to go the right way. What a twist! I try I try my best to pay attention during the cutscenes, because the more I get distracted, the less information I retain. <laughs> and I like the story! I wanna I wanna know what's happening! So Zach. About Emily. My first impression met her on that bridge is slightly different from what I think about her now. Don't you think she's pretty mesmerizing? He's falling in love with the glowy exactly. lady. She seemed interested in you. Did you make a move? No, no, that's her. Just asking. How would Zack have made a move on her? I won't stand in your way, but I'd like to hear the truth. Because this kind of stuff could affect our friendship, you know. They can just tag team her. Zack is inside his head. I'm just interested in her, that's all. He didn't love or anything. From what I can tell, she didn't even seem to like me. What? It's pretty clear from how she acts when she's around me. What? This she fucking autist! Cautious with women. It's because I was badly burned in my last relationship. Relatable. I really have no idea what women are thinking. That's my problem. <laughs> You're pretty friendly with the ladies, aren't you then? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe you should teach me about how to interact with women. I don't think Zach can teach you that because Zach is you inside your head. I mean, I guess technically Zach is me as well, but like, why would I teach you when I want you, Mr. Peppermint Patty Man? I want to go into the biker bar, actually. Can I do that? Can I, can I go into the biker bar? Wait, hold on. Driving? I'm parking! Zach, we're supposed to play along with Harry's little game, remember? Yeah, but there's darts. I'm oh, it's you closed? You dumb I don't bitch! I like being played with either. But we've got three victims now. And we need to prevent that number from becoming four. 
I wanna, I wanna go in. Oh, oh, there's lots of stuff to pick up in here. Oh, is there like an alternate entrance? Can I go inside here anyway? You're surprised I like this game as much as I do? It's got the visual appeal of a used cum sock. Yeah, but that cum sock's got soul. And it's got Mr. Peppermint Patty Man. And he is very charming. Coffee milk, cola, coffee black, ruby ear. This ruby ear's $91! Lollipop, cookie, cracker, chocolate. Slinger, thank you for the $5. The phrase, teach me what you want me to do, does nothing for you. Good to know. What? Can I go this way? Oh my god, I can. Oh my god, I can. Okay. There is another door. This is closed too. Okay. It won't even won't even knock. I don't need to get up there and look inside, I suppose. Oh wait, what if I do? What if I what if I look in the window and I like see people doing stuff? Get all that alcohol. Wait, how am I inside the window? Oh, person! Oh, person! Hello, Sally. Hello, Sa- Gee, Sally. Where's your boyfriend at? Why are you washing your face in the kitchen sink? Okay, bye, Sally. I was not expecting to actually see a person. Uh, it shocked me. Looks a little overdressed for a camper. She's just wearing like a bathrobe. Isn't all that overstressed? Dressed? How are you so stealthy? Good question. <gasps> this is the car I was talking about. My dad's my dad's friend. He restores classic cars and he owns a bunch of classic cars himself. And I was talking about how how he restored a car and he was sad that he was selling it. Um, but it looked like one of the the Matchwood Derby cars that I didn't know how to explain it. It looks like this, except his is completely silver. Like it, like, it looks almost identical to this. That's pretty fucking cool. Except it's a silver. It's a silver one, not red. That's an old Corvette. Oh, okay, alright. Observe. Modern day teens would love this design. Must be Quince ride. Would modern day teens love that? It doesn't look too flashy on the outside. But there's quite a lot of customization under this one's hood. Must be Richard's car. Uh, OG Corvettes are cool as fuck. They're fiberglass bodies. Oh, call call for someone. Oh, I guess I can't. Unlucky. All right, where's my car? Weird. Did they just like teleport my car way over here? That's kind of weird. That's kind of fucking weird. Why would you do that? You're just bored of being a peeping Tom. I mean, if they can't catch me, it's not exhilarating. Gotta go the wrong way to go the right way. Bing. Bing. Is that a whole fucking town? Is there a whole fucking town down there? Oh my god, there is. It's okay, we just have a nice little bump while I scope out the town. It actually seems like I need to go that way. So let me let me just back up out of your way, Mr. Mans. Bing! Anyway, Zack. There aren't many young women left in this town. Even Emily could be targeted next. You can't rule that out. All the oh. reason to catch the raincoat killer in ASAP. And that means working closely together. We can work out the Emily situation later. I was looking at the text on this building. 
I mean, I'm not interested in Emily. Thanksgiving! Because she's I'm just saying she's interesting. Why is it Thanksgiving? You know, as an interesting person. But by looking at her, she reminds me of something I used to feel. Oh. That's all. Like back when I first met you. You know, that feeling we all used to feel back when we were kids. Feeling safe while also yes. feeling the need to protect. That kind of feeling. Mash Mark. Who made me feel that back then? Your mom? Anyways, we're getting closer. One Not step the Rogatory? I have a feeling it's going to get tough. I still don't see anywhere to get side quests. I guess these are like ridiculously easy to miss. Because, like, I'm looking on my map and I don't see any other, like, new icons. My sick burn with the mom j- It wasn't a joke! I was being serious! Ooh, I missed that telephone pole! I'm fucking nuts. The Hofnar feeling? A hard-on for no apparent reason? Ugh. Well, I, I hope that's not the feeling he's talking about. Oh, uh, no! I didn't miss that one. They're super easy to miss. God damn it! I gotta go the wrong way to go the right way. Hold on, I can't figure this out! Hold on! Okay, we're just gonna go around. <laughs> okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm, I just, uh, it's, all, it's all fine. It's okay. Why is that one tree red? Why is there only one red tree? Why is there one red tree? Higher than average woman driver. Is that the special place? I'm assuming the special place is where the red binky dink is. Related to the red seeds, maybe? I mean, maybe. Oh, I got some fucking air on that. Now we're really glowy. It's a royal red maple. They're red year round. How the fuck? How the fuck do you know that? I'm worried if this road isn't gonna take me there. Can I? Can I just like take a shortcut? No. Okay. Okay. This way. This way. We're going, we're going through some weird arches. Those pumpkins? Oh no, they're gravestones. They look kind of like pumpkins from far away in my defense. Just as Harry said, it's crowded and quiet. It is crowded. That's a weird noise. I don't like that. Hello, you look like a zombie! Hey, Brian. Agent. Mr. Agent, how are you? Oh, uh, not Why bad. Why is he so white? I'm, uh, just playing a little game with Harry. Game? A game? I'm like, look at him! Huh. Is that He's got, like, clown fun? white We've makeup just started, on. started, Brian. The fun is about to begin. I'd like to ask you something, actually. Is there a tree in the graveyard that drops red seeds. Seeds? Red seeds? That? That tree does. <laughs> Thank you. And that one. <laughs> and that one too. <laughs> red seeds. What is going on with that sky box? Do not pay attention to the strange weather conditions. Suddenly trees. Yeah, those trees weren't there a moment ago. I saw I saw the red flower petals from far away, but there weren't any fucking trees there. Green tomato? What? But why would you eat a green tomato? Uh, they're not ripe yet. Probably shouldn't try to get in there. Yeah, that's why we sleep outside like a fucking animal. I'm saving the goddamn game. You fry them? Weird. It's early ketchup. I like my ketchup young. 
so young they're still green tomato. Kirsha knows nothing on how to use green tomatoes. I've only ever seen green tomato as the pre-red tomato form. Oh, wait a minute. I can go in here. Hold up. Hold the fucking phone. Oh, there's a zombie! Wait, can he knock down the fence for me? I can't say that. <laughs> Young, barely legal ketchup is waiting for you in grocery store aisles now. What the fuck is that? A zombie? That's a zombie? I don't, okay, I don't have any actual weapons, so... <laughs> Excuse me. I'm shooting you in your fucking armpit, idiot. He remembers! Is that good? Oh, I accidentally went the right way. I thought I thought I was gonna go through the front door. Okay, he's dead. Never mind. I thought I was gonna go through the front door, but I, I guess this was the way I'm supposed to go. Hello! Are they still spawning behind me? Oh, they are. Oh, they are. He's got a shotgun. Oh, they are. Oh, they are. Oh, God. Eh! 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 I'm stuck! There's not enough room! There's not enough room! Ah! I've narrowly avoided getting pitchforks again. What? Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna just gonna Alright, we gotta we gotta do action combat with very slow guns. Don't worry about it. I gotta move. Okay. Okay, they're not. She's com she's coming. She's coming! Whoop! 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 No shotgun! Okay, okay, alright. Let me move! 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 The grape juice! I'm stuck again! I'm stuck again! Okay. Oh! Okay, well, I'm not stuck anymore. Do not kill me! Oh, there's an item on the ground. Oh, God. Oh, God, there's so many. Oh, God, there's so many. Beep, 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 beep. Oof. Beep, beep, beep. Ah, that's not fair! They're spawn camping. Wait, why is she on fire? Oh no. Oh no, I have to reload. Oh god. Oh god. One of them is going to try fisting my throat again, chat. I need to heal. This is this is a hallway of doom. This is, this is a terrible hallway. Use a medium and a small. No. Ah! Okay. It's time for infinite bees. Bees can't heal me! Come on. Come on. Oh, oh god. Oh. What? What is this? What is this? <laughs> now they're trying to fish me! Chat! Chat, why does this hallway exist? Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. No! Oh, that's right, I do have a shotgun. Oh, that's right, I do have a shotgun. The, the submachine guns seem to work pretty well. Pretty, 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 pretty well. Oh god. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, I need to heal again. I need to heal. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna use the the large. We're gonna use the large healing kit. All right, I'm full. I'm full HP. We're fucking we're fucking fine. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Okay. 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 You bitch. Oh baby, you triple. Oh no. Oh no, we don't care about items. Fuck you. Fuck. What is this game? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Alright. Another triple. We're fucking nuts. We're fucking... Please. Please. Wooden fence. Okay, back. Back to the... Back to the shotgun. Back to the... Back to the shotgun. Alright, we got this. We're, we're, we're nuts. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Get out of my way. Don't touch me. Do not consume! Oh, how did I kill both of them? I wasn't even aiming at the fat man! I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. Alright. We gotta- we gotta tear down another fence. Hold on, hold on, I gotta reload. Hold on, hold on, I gotta reload. Okay, okay, we're good. Oh no, we're not good, never mind. I lied. We're not good. Oh god, I'm shooting through the fence. Don't say my name! Don't say my name! Okay. 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 We're good. Okay. okay we're good. Give me. Give me the. Give me the. Give me the bandage. Give me the. Give me the. Give me the bandage. Give me the bandage. Give me the beef. Give me the give me the, give me the. give me the. No. Not. No. No. Yes. Oh God. Oh God. The panic. All right. Half HP is good enough. All right, tear down, tear down the fence. Holy shit, that was terrible! Monolith looks quite old. I might be able to move it if I pushed hard enough. <laughs> Zombies could be here. He'd never been to this graveyard before. Zombies could be anywhere. <laughs> mission accomplished. Let's get back to Harry's. The reward okay. better be good. Yeah, I'll give you a reward, Mr. Peppermint Patty Man. But you know about these seeds? They were right here under my nose. It's as if I was carefully carrying a bottle of water. While walking in a pool, we're learning the countryside version of common sense the hard way, Zach. What? Good night, Bill Bellbeard. All that effort for some oh, lousy red seed. This is a public service announcement. Kiyosh and chat are super mega duper cute and wonderful less than three. You are super duper mega cute and wonderful, Bailey. Thank you. Thank you for the five dollar doodles. I can just push that out of the way, can I? <coughs> Left foot bone. Okay. Don't tell us you're attracted to the wheelchair, dude. A no, only the bone. peppermint patty. This doesn't look related to the case, but... Shouldn't I let someone know? Why does that dog sound like a frustrated piggy? That's what I want to know. Hello. Hello, dog with visible penis. Can I... Can I give you anything? Can I... Can I... Yeah. I'm really tapping into my glowy training now. Oh, do I do I have to shoot the lock? Hold on. No. 
No, I just- I just gotta walk all the way around again? Are you kidding me? This dumb bitch. Well, at least all the zombies are gone now. Look at- look at that! That's pretty cool! Hello, loot! You hadn't shot the dog, you could have taken the shortcut? I just don't believe you. I just don't believe you. The government doesn't want you to know this, but the medals can be ordered from a store. You don't actually need to die for your country to get them. Hello, Brian. Bad, bad seeds. Uh, I won't touch them. Okay, Brian. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Brian. <laughs> naughty, naughty seeds. Ding. And that's how I know I saved the game. And that's how I know. Did he see the zombies? It's a good question. I wonder if he could see the zombies. Brian, Brian looks a little funky. He could just be a goth guy, but he also could be kind of weird. Something might be fishy with Brian. Let me, let me see here. Let me see here what my moderators have put together for the end of day for us today. Nom, 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 nom. Stream and slide. Are we crime bobsing? It's eight o'clock. I gotta, I gotta eat food. I actually have eaten so little these past few weeks uh, that I have a lot of my meal prep food left in the fridge when I shouldn't. There should be, there should be exactly two meals left in my fridge, and there are like seven. So <laughs> I have not, I've not been good at keeping up. Eat food. Yeah, no, it's bad. It's been kind of rough. It's been kind of rough out here for Foxu. Let me, uh, let me, let me, let me see what our mods have put together. Let's, let's see here. Can I get rid of my, uh, gummy chair? And then find my browser again? Find my browser? Do I need to come spoon feed you? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, please spoon feed. <laughs> if I'm just like hanging out at like a Dunkin' Donuts and I'm sipping a, a fucking ice latte in a blizzard, and someone just comes up and they're like, "Hello, ma'am. I couldn't help but notice your ears are very fuzzy today, and I would like to touch them. Would I found you attractive? Would you like to try and form a sexual relationship with me?" I would look at them like, "Why are you talking like that?" You're weird, but I'm interested in why you're weird. Please do not flay my skin. Take a seat and we can talk over the hot chocolate. <laughs> because if I'm I have the survival instincts of a plant! KB, thank you. Thank you for the clip. Thank you. Thank you for the clip. Especially having to make decisions for myself for my entire life based on how I grew up. It makes me feel so much better when someone makes those decisions for me. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. holy shit. Holy fuck. It makes me feel so good. Even if it's like a small, like, doesn't even, like, picking the game that I play. Or, or like, when, when Nim is just like, oh, we can fix this in one of two ways. It's like, I don't care. Pick one. Do not- do not even tell me the options, just pick one. <laughs> Especially have- True and real? Please don't give me options, I get paralyzed. Arganzi, thank you. Thank you for the clipu. Thank you for the clipu. I like my ketchup young. So young, they're still green tomato. I like- <laughs> Why did I say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, KB, for another clip. <laughs> Creepy. I was like, I don't know, man. But how will your himbo propose? I don't know. I don't know. Oh my, that's a lot of red flags. Please, tell me more. <laughs> 
And welcome back from the Shadow Realm. Hola? Creepy ketchup? I was just like, you know, sometimes, sometimes the ketchup be like that, chat. Sometimes it be that way. All right, let's see. Let's see who I'm going to foist you onto. Who's got? Who's going to be in charge of taking care of you after after I go make food? Let's let's see. Let's see here. Let let's let's fucking see. Uh, you know what? We we read stuff about Bao. I felt bad. Feel bad about her getting fucked over by merch shit. Let's 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 go. Let's go touch the sea creature. Let's touch the sea creature. Barely legal ketchup raid. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> is that normal? Is that a, is that a normal raid message? <laughs> Oh my god. Be nice. Yeah, we gotta be nice. Be nice and normal. I don't think we can do barely legal ketchup. I, it's fine for her. I don't know. Nim, is that an okay raid message? Can we do that? Is that is that fine? Master Goa, thank you for the two dollar doodles. Eat more before you have to give you batteries. Please do not fill me with batteries. I was eating at work and the fire happened. Now I can't leave. Oh, fuck. Uh, well, I hope everyone is safe from the fire, June Bugu. Please pay attention to your immediate surroundings and not throwing money at me, the fox woman. Did Nim immediately ignore my, my life here? I asked Nim a question. I asked Nim a question and he's not answering. If ketchup is being used for all legal purposes, it should be fine. <laughs> no, don't do that one, Shank. Don't do that. She- she didn't say the name of the company. You were thinking? Okay. You have no clue what you'd replace it with, to be honest? Like a nice ketchup raid. Nice ketchup raid. We could- we could do a legal ketchup raid. I'm always like nervous about how to raid people, you know? my brain to do things. <laughs> nice ketchup. Nice ketchup! Do- do just regular legal ketchup. How about that? It's legal in Japan. Nim is constipated. Forgive him. <laughs> He, for, he forgets to alert me to him doing the processes of things, as it were. As it were. All right, we're doing we're doing some nice ketchup. We got those nice green tomate tats, chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna raid Bao. Uh, she's uh, she's she's been through some rough times, dude. She had she had some rough shit happen with her her merch company letting her down. Uh, they owe her a fuck ton of money. As uh, she said, she helped write that a thing that I read earlier with a lawyer. So be nice, be nice to fish lady. Be nice to fish lady. She's uh, she's fucking she's fucking struggling out here. I hit hit the wrong thing. It's not an intermission. It's e we're ending. It's not. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, and uh, do not do not post the word copium, please. We uh we the way the way I handle raids here is if you are if you are a bad little boy in someone else's chat, uh, I just ban you here. Cause like I don't I don't want I don't want I don't want that bad juju as it were. All right, okay. All right, okay. No being bad, chat. I appreciate you being on good behavior when we when we raid people. It makes me happy. It makes me proud of you, honorable chatters. All right, so be be nice and sweet. Since so she's going through some rough shit, I would appreciate that. And uh, I I will see you guys on Friday with the side scrollers podcast. If I did not read your message today, I will also be reading those, uh, probably, probably on Saturday. I don't want to put it off till Sunday, because I would feel even worse. But thank you! Thank you for hanging out with me tonight, hiking a good neighbor, Ollie for real, 3550, Argonzi, Azira Music, BBF John, Bear in the Woods, Bearded Tit! Bill, Bill, no name. Bingle, bangle, tangle, mango. Blood Drake, a bubba burn. C14, dog, happy and raw. Cancerous humor. Kim tuna piano. Carbon foxo. Carcastador. Centurion Max 789. Chanks out to me. Chronic weave. Cobalt ogre magus. Cold acid. Dan Sullivan. Deadly flame 17. Diet thermite. Diplodicus 3000. DJ panda milk. Dragon granter. Ask a car. Fat cat 112. Fighting foo. I've been playing with these scissors all stream. And I don't know if you guys have been able to hear me, like, clicking these scissors, but, like, I just have not been able to fucking stop. I've been, like, nervous ticking these scissors all fucking day. I just got really distracted because it was, it was, like, it was really loud. <laughs> Fighting food! Forks! 
Rico 74 U, Gio Rico, a Giga Turd 420, Helen Razor 978, Happy Mars 24, Hey I'm Luscious, Honor Blin, I am Binary Mind, Icy Bar, JKBT, J Hill 7009, John Knight, KB 9797, Chaotic Twist, Kilsa, Kinetic Zen, King Sovereign, Large Sad Bro, Lavi Rin, Lil Rookie, Lindner, Lo C 23, Lotus EX, Lulu Tila, Lux Necro, Master Nemesis 1, Mr. Sazerac, Oris Mador, Payaso 6091, Prog Maestro, Remantius, Repult, Rave Master J, Revenant 465, Robzer, Sambo 1994, Shadow Knights, Lanesh Says Hi, Solfang Seeker, Stomach Dead Man, Swift Sword, Synth Latran, Talondex, The Contra, The User, Teaspoon. Ooh, we got Vinny Shitward, Wicked Scary, Wing the Hussar 88, Z Black 2142, Zephyr 102, 0111, Zyvolve! Thank you! Thank you, thank you for spending time with me tonight. I'm attempting, I'm attempting to, to raid the whale woman. My browser's not agreeing with me. My browser's not agreeing, hold on! <laughs> raid bow, raid bow, be very, very kind to, to nice whale woman. I feel very bad for the the circumstances recently, so she should probably she could probably use some some happy happy pick me ups, alright? Okay, I still have the game open. Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, of course I do. And uh, thank you again for hanging out. I will see you guys on Friday with side scrollers on their channel. Have a great rest of your night. Bye bye.